Are we good? Are we live? I think so. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Happy Doom Animal Crossing Day. <laughs> the, the greatest day in video game history is upon us today. And I hope that you're all having a splendid time. Hope that you're all keeping safe. Hope that you're all locked up inside your houses. Self-isolating. And being careful. As we all need to do right now. Um, let me... No, I'm Instagram storying this. And you're here live to see me do it. You like my shiny new teeth? Invisalign, baby! If you haven't been watching the Doom series, then you don't know that I have this. Unless you follow me on Twitter as well. You know, life's a roller coaster and you don't get all the information all the time. But I have Invisalign on my teeth now. And that's why I talk with a lip. And that's why everything I say sounds so weird now. It hurts like a motherfucker. Not only, not only does it hurt because it's pulling my teeth in a certain direction and merging them all and making them nice and straight, but also I have like this... Oh, shut up, Siri, you fucking monstrosity. There's also like a hard edge on the top of it that's like eating into my lip constantly. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I guess my mouth just needs to get used to it. But welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. We're gonna play some Animal Crossing. Uh, I'm gonna hang out with Chad for a little bit first, and we'll we'll do a little talking. Um, since I don't stream very often, and it's nice to sit back and chill and hang. Um, but I have, full disclosure, I have never, ever, ever played an Animal Crossing game before. I have never once had a desire to. Because it looks like the type of game that's just not for me. I'm not the type of person who likes- it was the same as Stardew Valley. I tried to play that game, and it just became work, the game. And I didn't really like that, and I know Animal Crossing is similar in ways. And it's just a very chill, laid-back type of game, and all you kind of do is go around doing chores and jobs and building things and everything. There's no real, like, clear goal. Um, but I'm- I, you know what? I'll give it a shot. I've, I've, I don't normally play these types of games in my own spare time, but it might be fun to actually sit back and play one for a stream. And we can all go on it together. Uh, and you can actually see my reaction to what... <laughs> I have never played an Animal Crossing game before. What's my, what's my title for this on YouTube? I've never played an Animal Crossing game before. No, that's boring. Um, local idiot plays Animal Crossing for the first time. <laughs> Casper! Thanks for the gifted subs! That's very sweet. Appreciate you. UPS is taking forever to ship mine. I'm so impatient. We- that is frustrating when it happens, but... Considering the time of humanity right now, I'm just still glad that people are actually still delivering. Um... I don't really know what to call my, my island and my character and everything yet, so that's going to be a fun thing. Maybe you can help out. I kind of have some ideas on what I'm going to do. But I also don't know if I'm going to play the game completely seriously and just do things as normal. I don't think so, because that's just not my style. I'll probably end up fucking something up eventually. <laughs> Which I think is way more fun. Can I kill Tom Nook? Can I kill anybody in this game? It'd be so funny if I could just kill people. Or do like The Sims, where I could just segregate them all out and put them in one little location and then the island is mine. <laughs> I'll mess around and see what happens. The music's so calming. The music's from Animal Crossing. It's the Animal Crossing soundtrack. My island is Ireland? Ah, that's too normal. Chat's wild. That's just the way I like it. Wet and wild, baby. Do you guys like all that that you hear coming from me now? Because my mouth is under assault. My island is called Jeff. <laughs> the fuck? Butt Island? <laughs> Dude, check it out. Butt Island. <laughs> 
I kind of want to call my island hell. I want everybody to be in hell. Because <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Doom, so I just wanted to call it hell. And Tom Nook is Satan. I was going to call my character Satan, but it doesn't make any sense if I'm paying Tom Nook taxes in hell as Satan. It's like, who does Satan answer? So Tom Nook is Satan, <laughs> and he's taking all of our money, and he's the one announcing everything all the time. Gravity Falls reference? Yep. Huh, do, do, check it out. Butt Island. <laughs> oh, I wish I should want to watch Gravity Falls again. What a fucking perfect show. Island is called PP Island? No. Name it Uranus. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Uranus. No, I like saying, like, everybody, welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. All right, let's just, let's just jump into it. Uh, oh, wait, let me get Streamlabs open as well. Every time, it's, it doesn't keep my login on Streamlabs. Every time I go there, I just see Pokemon. <laughs> doesn't Pokemon have enough already? She has it all. I have nothing against Pokemon. I think she's great. Killing it! Alright, music. Stop. Stop, stop. And let's go here. Oh, look! A game! Wow! Who would have known? A game in this day and age. Uh, let me turn that one down. Uh, I'm going to start recording this as well, because I, I want this for YouTube also. I also realized that using OBS in administrator mode... Running it as, as administrator actually makes it run four million times better than normal, which I have never done before because I'm a bad streamer. Every time I ran it normally, it was like, encoding overloaded! What the fuck are you doing? Stop! And now it's just like, hey, baby, what's going on, girl? Hey. What's up? <laughs> All right, Animal Crossing, let's go. Let's play it as Sean. Even my Switch doesn't know who I am. This is fun. I'm excited. I was going to uh, just record videos of it, but I think it's a much more chill kind of streamy game. Everyone is now judging you for using light mode. Come on. The amount of times I'm in the actual menu on Switch. Fuck out of here. Also didn't know that there was a dark mode. Nook Incorporated. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Oh my god, they're so cute. Jimmy! Good evening! We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check encounter for your deserted island getaway package. That is terrifying. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you are you trying to hypno toad me into this? Jesus. Hmm, there is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Incorporated. And I'm Tommy, from Cook Incorporated. <laughs> we'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Where did they talk like that? Um, alright, so my name... Um, of course. I fucked it up already. I'm not used to stupid Nintendo buttons being reverse of everything else. Who's it gonna be, y'all? Who's it gonna be? Y'all already know who it's gonna be. Sound off in chat. That's right. It's the adventures of Toss Boy. Toss Boy is going back into the game. Uh, are you okay with Toss Boy? The world of Animal Crossing is welcome to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. <laughs> My name is Penis Man. Uh, birthday is the 7th of the 2nd. We'll do that one seriously. Is the 7th of February your birthday? It sure is, Timmy Tommy. Toss Boy. Toss Boy. Let's see. Oh, yes. Here you are. Could you really just call them something horrible? Like, dickhead. It's like, dickhead. Dickhead. Ah, yes. Here you are. <laughs> right in our system. Our next step will be to take you- to take a picture of you, Toss Boy. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. 
We'll be ready when you are. You are. Why do they talk like that? Um, okay. Let's get my boy- Oh my god, he's cute already! Um, I kind of want him to look like me. So, milk bottle it is. Um... Oh, look how cute! He's so adorable! This is a tiny little sir! Are these all the hairstyles? No. <laughs> these are so cute! That's a look. Now that's powerful energy. Little tiny toss boy. Is this me? Give him a twirl, toss! No. Let's just go with this, I guess. Uh, eyes. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Like tiny- oh, What's up, it is? What's up? My name Toss Boy. I'm here to tell you all about my island. Welcome. Okay. Um. Let's go with. Oh, what kind of eyes do I want? Oh, I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want Toss Boy to be a crackhead. <laughs> Looking good, Toss. Uh, nose and mouth. Yeah, got a little button nose. You can change the color. Oh yeah, I didn't change the color of my hair. Wow. Wow. Looking good. Who is she? Mm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe just this. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? The name's Toss Boy. Welcome to my island. I'm here to tell you all about what's going on with Tom Nook. His, I don't know what his deal is. He just steals everybody's money. If you all, if you all yourself to, to just live a nice life, just stay the fuck away from this island. Yeah, this is it. This is exactly it. Give you little rosy cheeks. Nah, no blush for you. This is serious. <laughs> you can change your look after. Oh, okay. What's up? I want to head on into the island. Y'all point me in the right direction. Great. You're all set. All set. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's like, clapping. He looks like he's just smacking his own tits. Be like, yeah! Toss boy! <laughs> I'll just go ahead and add that picture to our records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. Exciting. He's like the characters from Hot Fuzz. It's for the greater good. The greater good. You know what? And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. Exciting. Okay. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. Okay. See, these are the gatekeepers to hell. So, tell me, Toss Boy, where do you live now? Live now. Um, Europe? Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So, naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few decisions to make, a few more decisions to make, but that, does that sound okay to you so far? So far. Yes, it does. Sure. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So, don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Where you're going... Everybody's dead. Now, just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. These guys are fucking terrifying. Alright, what looks good? Um... I don't know, which one looks good to you guys? Are we a top left, bottom left, bottom right, top right? I don't know, I don't know what you need in a, in a, a little adventure. I'm kind of leaning towards this one. I don't know, top left, top right, 
Top left, top right. Okay, so the bottom ones are out. Okay, a lot of people are saying top right. Okay, you got it, chat. Everybody else who said the other one? Fuck you. <laughs> Wonderful choice. Choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. Are you ready to go to hell? If you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, some- <laughs> it said something to kill me. <laughs> I just bring something to kill me. You know, if I'm going to hell, you know, just get it over with. Um... I don't know what to bring. Is, is is this important? Is this like Dark Souls where picking the right thing actually determines what's going on? A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food. Um, I, I don't know. Do food? I I do like food a lot. Um, something to kill time. Who's time, and why do I want to kill them? Uh. Everyone, a lot of people are saying food. <clears throat> food or kill time. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. Nook Incorporated would fully cover all your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a very, this is a service announcement. The chartered flight for Nook Inks, Desert Island, Getaway Package is ready for boarding. I, I had a few drinks this morning. I can't read properly. Yeah, any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Together. <laughs> I still, I honestly have no idea why they're talking like that. Uh, hold on. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Incorporated's Deserted Island Getaway Package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Okay. I... Just get me there. Wow. There she is. Hell. Looks like heaven to me. A bug is humping that tree. He stole! He just stole wood off the ground! Hiya, Georgie! Oh my god, these characters are fucking adorable. <laughs> Is this why people love Animal Crossing? Because you can sit on a bench with a rabbit and look at shooting stars? No! I want fun memories with friends! <laughs> you can build your own wood. You can make a fence. You can kill fish. Or you can beat the shit out of your friends. Whatever you desire, Animal Crossing's got you covered. Come on down and have a yay old time. Wow. And nothing incorporated production. I want to beat the shit out of my friends too. You're right, Lee. Let's do that. Can I beat the shit out of people in this game? Can I just grab a net and just like beat them until they don't want to be in hell anymore? It is very cute. That's why I want to name the island Hell. Just jump out. Where are we dropping, boys? Animal Crossing Battle Royale. That sounds fun. Whoever catches the most butterflies wins. But there's also shotguns. Here I am. We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island. Home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. <laughs> We're heading there right now. If you'd like to move, follow us. Nah, no, I'll stay here. This is like getting to the good place. Everything's not as it seems. We well, gotta get a move on, come on. His name is Bam. Why, oh, this one's a monkey! <laughs> We can chat later. I want to see where this is going. Race you there. Stinky. Bye-bye. Bye, Stinky. Oh. Is that him? Is that our fearless leader himself? Mr. Nook? Alright. Is that everyone? Let's see. 
Is Shari here? And how about Bam? And there's Toss Boy, of course. Here. Great. We're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes. Very good. Let's see. How shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Incorporated. Yes, yes. I don't know why I gave him this voice. <laughs> Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Incorporated staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate. Dream big enough so I own your soul. Okay. Ah, oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy and Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Don't be fooled. That's Satan. In our world, Tom Nook is Satan. This is hell. Um, oh, you got a little flag. You're so adorable. Here you go, Toss Boy. Your very own tent. Thank you. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory and then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. You want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map too. <laughs> Silly me. Fucking idiot. Once you put your tent, please find your way back here. Use your map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Great spot. Thank you. Where do we go? <laughs> Todd's boy is looking real good. I took some baths on the plane on the way over here and I'm feeling real fucking nice. Alright, I don't know if where I placed my tent actually has any bearing on this game too much. Uh, okay, let me get used to the buttons here for a second. What is this? That's fucking creepy. <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> do that again. I want to. How, how did I do that? Oh, look at his little face. Hmm. What should I write today? I'll learn the alphabet. Oh, damn it. I fucked it up again. The education system failed me. All right, here we go. Um, how do I open up my map? You can't save right now. Great. I, I don't want to save. Anyway. Oh, I can run. Wee -hee -hee -hee. Look at me go! Try right the middle of the map near water. There's water up here, right? Look at all those peaches. Look at all those butts on trees. <gasps> yeah, shake the shit out of them. Can I... Can I pick up? I want this. Pick it up. I, I have no idea how I actually open the map. <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. Where looks like a good place. Try pressing Y? I am. It just comes up when I'm not moving. Uh, maybe that... Okay. I have found a nice place. Out of my way, monkey man. What's up, everybody? I want to go, like, here. Up here. Away from everybody. Near the ass trees. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Okay, tent. Build here. Too close to the water. I need more room. Oh, goddamn. Perfect. Uh, I kind of want to be able to see it. I need to rethink it. Put it, like, here. Nice. Oh, why is to pick it up? Okay. Oh, it's still in just chatting on my thing. Whoops. Hold on a second there, everybody. Toss Boy's got to do some work. It says just chatting, but I got to change it to Animal Crossing New Horizons. There we go. Noise. All right, let me just get back into where I was. Uh, J Money, thank you for the tier one sub. Can't press Y yet. Damn it! Wait, did I put my tent down? 
No, I didn't. Too close to the water. Oh, okay. Too close to the water. Live a little! Yes. This is the spot right next to the butt trees. Did I just... Did I just chop down that tree to put down my tent? Did I just deforest? Is it on my tent? That's the big first step. You're so cute, Toss Boy. I just destroyed a tree. Tom Nook is gonna be so upset with me. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get sent through the circles of hell for this one. Ah, Toss Boy! You must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others might still be searching for the right location. Dumbasses. It's easy to put down a fucking tent. You know, since you've done some scouting and the others have uh, appreciate your assistance, yes, yes. Okay. He kind of reminds me of Foghorn Leghorn from, <laughs> like, Looney Tunes. Is it Looney Tunes? Okay. What's up, monkey butt? You're... Wait! I got it! Don't tell me! You're a toss boy, right? See? Told you I had it. Uh, I'm sorry. I gotta tell you. I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Cheeky. You already found a good spot, huh? I was just... I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble. Because every spot just feels like the best one. That's like every, somebody saying like, Oh, well, we're all winners! I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I just grabbed the stick and threw it. <laughs> That's where it landed. So now, this is my spot! Okay, I know there's only one so far I could throw at the stick, but I'm liking this. I mean, so far, because I was like, this is good to me. Do whatever you gotta do. <laughs> Toss Boy looks like he just shot up in the parking lot. Now he's just like, what? <laughs> Real cheeky? Something cheeky at me. Well, if you're sure, actually, let's think about this a little. I'm up by 10 here. Your tent is nicer than mine. Looks nice, don't it? Looks great! Awesome! From now on, this won't be just anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my home sweet home. I can't believe I got such an awesome spot! <laughs> you rock, Cheeky! So call me Cheeky. I wonder how that Bam guy is doing. He might be having as much trouble as I was. Uh, maybe we should go see if he needs help too. Okay, see you later, monkey ass. Can I steal your tent? I'm gonna steal. Oh, I'm gonna take all these little butts. These little butts are gonna be mine later. Look <laughs> how cute I am. I'm adorable! I'm adorable and I have a zest for life. I got the zoomies. What's up, Bam Bam? Yo, I'm Bam. You're Toss Boy, right? Nice to meet you. Kablam! Oh, these characters are really going to test my patience. I really am in hell. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find a perfect spot. I'm going to do some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. The island is like a mile squared. Just, just piss somewhere and pick that spot. What do you think, Taz Boy? I don't know. Make a decision on your own. I'll find you a spot. What? You want me to find a sweet spot to put this tent seriously? Wow, we just man, you're already doing some heavy lifting on our friendship, Toss Boy. Yeah, I'm gonna bill you my medical bills for how much my back hurts for carrying this friendship from now on. I need to see the perfect spot you pick for me. You're going in the ocean, bitch. Sounds like that. Um, what's the character's name from the Wild Thornberries? <laughs> Have you already the plans of visualizing how awesome island life is going to be? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's... Don't worry, dude. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Oh, it's going to be so good. Donnie? That's him. <laughs> right. Where should he go? Can I put his tent in the ocean? <laughs> Too close to water. Come on, live a little! Or kill a little. This is hell. I want him as far away from me as I possibly can get him. Um. Okay. Is is this good? Hmm. 
Oh, I can't go over the water yet. Damn it. I'm putting them down on the beach. I should have just put both of their tents really close to each other down here on the beach. Yep. <laughs> this is the spot! <laughs> I ruined someone's life! Looks like everyone has a spot, big. I've heard their tears now. I need to get back to the plaza or Satan's gonna be angry with me. <laughs> I already forgot the voice I gave Tom Nook. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Yes, yes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. Hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. Don't trust Mr. Nook. Look behind those eyes. There is an evil there. And with that taken care of, we can move on with more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. There's just something about fire that I really like. It really warms my soul. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll be all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Shari, Tommy, and Bam can set up things here in the plaza. Cos boy, I have a new thing for you. You'll be working on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Toss boy, would you come see me for a moment? Oh, God. I'm going to get my hell contract. This is what they're doing? You're going to send me on a big mission? This dude's sweeping dirt. Great. Oh, all clean, bam. You're also welcome for where I put your tent. Oh, bitch. <laughs> ah, Toss boy. I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So, when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the peach-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real peaches. That's how you know he's Satan. Only Satan talks in puns. A branch for me, and a branch for me. Butts! Get the butts. Get the butts. Oh, I can steal everything. Check out all the ass I got. All right. These are real peaches. Oh, thick ass fruit. Put it in your pocket. But don't let anybody pick your pocket. Not even Satan. Don't let him anywhere near your pockets, Toss Boy. Alright? That's your own special secret pocket. To put all your peaches in. Really should have. Can I move their tent now? Shari. Okay. I wanna move their tent. <gasps> you hiding shit back here? Dirty bastards. This is adorable so far. This is delightful. <clears throat> How many branches do I have? Nine. Okay. Oh, almost done, Mr. Satan. I'll be back in two minutes. All right, there we go. What are you doing? I'd appreciate it if you hold on to any weeds you pull up while you're gathering branches. In the near future, we'll want to buy them from you. To buy weeds? Oh hell yeah, dude! I got six weed going on, <laughs> and I got twelve asses. I fucking hate you, Bam. Pull up all the weeds. I gotta get lots of weed. They're gonna buy. <laughs> they're gonna buy it from me later. I'm just gonna be a drug dealer. <laughs> Timmy and Tommy's. Hell weed salesman. That's my kind of game. Now this is how I play Animal Crossing. Ah, welcome back. I trust you had some success foraging for tree branches. Very well, allow me to lighten your load. Here you go. Yes, yes. That should be plenty for our campfire. You may you made real quick work of that. 
Almost as if the whip of Satan himself was behind you the entire time. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh! -ho. <laughs> and speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. You know, they came to me and they were like, here is your deserted island retreat. You know, go on vacation. Have fun. Go out and be stress-free and go out onto the island. Then as soon as I came here, they put me to work. This is a prison. This is not a deserted island getaway. This is a prison, he's Satan, and the warden all in one. Look, he put poor Bam on to clean the floor. The floor never gets clean. It's dirt. It's just the ground. They look like peaches. They smell like peaches. They even taste like peaches. I'ma call them apples. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine peaches. So, will you collect six of them for me? Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough peaches for everyone, haven't you? My, my. What a good little worker you are. <coughs> anyway, thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started on the preparations. Here you go, take my ass! <laughs> oh man. It's a fucking gulag. Welcome to the gulag. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get him next time. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Look, he's just smacking his tits! Oh yeah! Give me your peach! Let's get started with the festivities. Is he doing a ritual? <laughs> yeah, we're just building a pyre to sacrifice something on. He's gonna start burning Bam in a second. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. <laughs> I have participated in many ritual <clears throat> ventures and endeavors over the years. But this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. <laughs> oh ho! <laughs> now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that's okay. A lot of people here for hell today. I got an itchy eyeball. Go fuck yourself. I do what I want. But that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... <laughs> I suppose we can't call it a deserted island anymore. Hmm. What should we call it? What has a nice ring to it? What just sounds real good, just rolls off the tongue for the type of location that you're in right now. That seems a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? But I get uh, the final say, because I'm Tom Nook, bitch, and I do whatever the fuck I want. So, take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. I mean, I've already made up my mind. You don't get to... Sorry, chat, you don't get to pick what this is. Our island is called Hell. Welcome to Hell, everybody. Are you ready? You've included a word or phrase that can't be used. Motherfuckers! How dare you not accept hell as a name? What is this, Nintendo? Censorship! If I want my island to be hell, it'll be hell! I fucking hate this. I had this big plan. I had it all ready to go. Can I do this? Oops. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna break something! <sighs> okay. Let's just call it, you know, Nordic Hell. There we go. Are you okay with Hell? The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. I couldn't if I wanted to, Animal Crossing Nintendo, because you motherfuckers didn't allow me to. I wonder if I could have called it Heck. Nah, it's Hell. All right, is everybody ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go! <laughs> what? Bam wanted to call it Isla de Biceps? 
Timmy and Tommy wanted to call it Timmy Land and Tommy Land. I don't know what Shira was fucking smoking. The fumes of the fire must have got up her monkey nose. What splendid variety. Yes, yes. Each one a potential jam. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Now remember to clap your titties instead of clapping your hands together. It makes a better sound. Cast boy seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So, Toss Boy suggested hell. Mm, there's just something about that that really sings to me. Something about that that just sounds real good. Everyone's smacking their tits. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. I swear I didn't have any sort of uh, <laughs> say in what was going on. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with hell. Okay, sounds great. Absolutely. It rocks. Splendid. Now, from now on, this island will be known as Hell. Welcome to the Terror Dome, bitches. Well, Toss Boy, since you've proven yourself by naming Hell, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island, like who we'll sacrifice on the burning pyre behind me, and whose feet we will eat next. Yes, yes. I hereby name you the resident representative of hell. Assistant to the regional manager? Oh, those are some titty claps if I've ever heard some before. Taz boy, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? Um, a word or two. Howdy. Um... I would like to go out there and say, my name Toss Boy. Ah, welcome. Welcome to hell, everybody. I came up with that name all of my own. I don't know, it just popped into my head. It's like somebody was speaking inside my brain. Now, all the people here, I hope that you have a wonderful time in hell. We got burning fires. We got a mile squared. It's not that big, but you got to make the most of it down here in hell. Now, Tom Nook, he says that his name is Tom Nook, but it's not really Tom Nook, because if you look him deep in the eyes, you will see that he is Satan himself, reincarnated into the face of a furry little raccoon, badger. What the fuck is Tom Nook? I don't even fucking know. Is he a Tanook? I don't know. He'd have bigger balls if he was a Tanooki, because they got some fucking big-ass balls, if you know what I'm saying. So, welcome to hell, okay, find yourself a tent, bam, you're sleeping down on the fucking beach, because that's what you are, you a fucking beach. I don't like you, bam, I don't like what you stand for, neither. Anyway, welcome to hell, you can count on me. Wow, riveting, titty cops all around. Um, so, we've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative assistant to the regional manager. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Where did you all get the green juice? What? How did they just make that? What is it? What am I drinking? Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from peaches. Our new resident representative assistant to the regional manager harvested on this very island. But it's green. It kind of has a yellowish tint to it. But it just look. Are you guys getting drunk? Are, are they getting drunk in Animal Crossing? Did they pull that out of their special pockets? This is, this is the wrong, I meant to do this one. <laughs> Special pockets? Dirty bastards. Then, without further ado, a toast to hell and the happiness of its residents. <laughs> to hell, everybody! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Ooh, girl! Welcome to hell! Bam, what are you doing? Do you guys see? I'm making music. It's music, everybody. Do you like it? <laughs> Having fun? I'm gonna kick off a new workout routine tomorrow. I'm taking it easy tonight. Come on! Sorry, that's just the way I go. Let's sing a song. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm, bang that tambourine, girl. Bang that tambourine. 
antlers on your head, boy, and little wobbly knees. Ooh, I love to fuck some bitch. <laughs> Welcome to hell, where everything is horrible and you're gonna love it. Yeah, sip your green juice, girl. Be honest, Matt, but chilling by the fire like this? <laughs> That's a straight vibe, everybody. Makes it feel like we've been best friends, buds forever. Cheeky. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking drunk. What's in this? What's in the green juice? I don't know. Tom Nook looks like he's high off his tits. The others look like they're ready to... The others look like U2's figures, actually. <laughs> My... That boy's looking real nice. That boy finished his drink, and his eyes have seen the cosmos. Alright, what now? Bedtime? Ah, Toss Boy. Having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. <laughs> Down in hell, it never stops burning. But I'm not tired yet. Maybe I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first, you would probably want this. That's a... Uh, <laughs> that's weed. If you smoke it, you'll get a nice sleep. It's your very own camping cot. I saw what you gave me. It was not... It was a leaf. You want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use things inside, press A. When you're ready, you can move to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes. That's all from me now. Sweet dreams, Toss Boy. Okay, good night. Night, everybody. Night, Shari. Night, Timmy. Night, Tommy. Night, Nook. Fuck you, Blam. What's his name? Bam? I already forgot. That's how much I don't care. All right, I'm gonna shake the shit out of some trees and get some asses. <laughs> yeah. I love how, as soon as you change the the sort of uh, perspective on Tom Nook, he sounds a lot more menacing. He's a scary demon from hell. Just people never knew. Aren't you glad that you have this series to help you figure that out? All right, give me sticks so I can build a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Beat the shit out of Bam. People were saying that I need like 30,000 bells. I'm assuming that's the currency to move houses. Oh, if I get 30,000 bells, you're going in the ocean, Shari. I don't make up the rules in hell. <laughs> Shake the shit out of the trees. Give me all your secrets! No, thank you. Suspected Nook was evil? I mean, he does tell you to pay your taxes. He steals all your money. He's like, welcome. Welcome to your deserted island getaway. By the way, you owe $400,000 for being here. Oh, you paid for the trip already? Well, sorry. You owe more money. Also, if you don't pay up, Tom Nook's gonna break your knees. Anyway, good night! No. So what's going on with your life? Nothing new. Epic. Oh, a tent that's just big enough to house the size of my head. Okay, what did I get? It's speaking in tongues. Tossboy has just joined a cult. Oh, actually, that's pretty nice. Welcome, Horizons is currently playing. Uh, yeah, I did mention at the start that I'm probably not gonna play this, like, 100% seriously. I will play a lot of it, but I wanna- I, I don't know, I just wanna dick around and have my own fun with it. If I play it completely seriously, then I, I might get bored of it too quickly. Oh, a little lamp. Oh, camping cot. Place item. Uh, no. Can I... Can I move it? Oh, thank God. 
I don't want it here. It's blocking the door. Ooh, nice. No. <laughs> Rest my head for a little while. Sure, why not? I'm getting sleepy. It's good that I'm in bed. Tom Nook's always watching. Who is this delightful little sir? KK! So, looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, daddy -o. <laughs> But it's a dildo. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. Sweet, sexy guitar playing dog man. The world was made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there. It's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat. Oh, it's a, it's a cat? Looks like a dog. Or is he, is he saying like, a cool cat? He's a dog, right? KK's a dog? He's a dog. Okay. It's a dog, cool cat. Okay. He's just slick, daddy-o. I dig it. Take it from a cool cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on his soul. Anyway, here's a song I wrote about how sad I am. You gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man, friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a heckin' ramble myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island a whole lot more if you share it with some friends. If that's your scene, Daddy-o. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later, Daddy-o. Now here's a little ditty. KK might be my favorite character. He is my son and I love him. He is best boy and I will treat him as such. Das boy, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Ah, uh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes. I'll be there. I'll be here when you're ready. How did I sleep with this God Infernal music playing? It sounds like something from Final Fantasy. Bum, ba 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. That's the KK March. <laughs> He's just vibing in hell. Hell yeah. KK Mambo. KK's the best. Actually, Toss Boy is the best, but KK's a close second. Put Toss Boy in Smash. Or he'll smash you. What are you doing waking me up in the middle of the night? Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or well, I suppose it was more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. Did you wake me up at like 4 a.m.? Are we going on a hike? I slept that long? Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, have you seen, uh, Bam? I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to your life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? It's a shotgun. Oh, a phone. It's your very own Nook phone. Don't talk about those fuckers over at Apple. They stole my design. I swear I had a patent on it a year before Tim... What's his name? Tim Curry went up on stage and fucking started showing off this phone and saying that it was so small and had an A12 processor in it. That was my fucking design. 
Fuck that guy. Anyway, I had these made especially for Alan residents. Ah, I want to make sure it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me? <laughs> Blinded by the screen. Welcome. Oh my god, it's cute. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. But dude, I'm playing Snake! Say, Toss Boy, have you ever used a smartphone before? Um, I have one of on my own. I have one right here. Tom! Come look! Okay, he's just looking at Toss Boy. Uh, let's do this because he might actually give me tips on how to use it. Is that so? How wonderful of you. I dare say you seem especially well suited for laugh on this rustic island. Okay, no need to spit in my face. <laughs> Nevertheless, I believe you will find this Nook phone quite handy. So, do take the time to learn how to use it. See, that's what Tim Cook was going to do. He was going to call it the Tim Cook phone. And then he realized, no, that's a stupid name. I'm aware that Tim Cook is not the original creator of the iPhone. Let me have my fucking joke or I'll kill you. He was going to call it the Cook phone. And that's why Tom Nook, Tim Cook. All right, it all makes sense. It's all connected. Tim Cook is also Satan. <laughs> I have one more thing for you. It's a death certificate. You actually died on the plane ride here. Welcome to hell. It's your itemized bill. Um. What? My bill? So, this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone. Hmm? Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of... <laughs> what? I told you, this is hell! They told me that I was having a nice, deserted island getaway. And then they turn around and say, Oh, everything that we did for you? that you actually paid for to get here? Yeah, you owe us more. It's like going to a travel agent and being like, I would like a holiday for a week in Lanzarote. And they're like, no problem at all. That'll be 2,000 euros. And then you go in, you give it to them, and then you get there, and at the end of the week, actually, the end of your first night, they're like, yeah, you owe about 15 grand. Bells? What are bells? <laughs> Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Good one, Toss boy. Wait, you're being serious? Yes, of course. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here on hell. Ah, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Well, you could feel free to work to get those bells for yourself to pay me back. It's just a small fee of 49,800 bells. It's no big deal. Now, now my character's face makes a lot of sense. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. It's in some places to call it a mortgage on life, but here we call it the Nook Mileage Program. And an M a NMP, as I would like to say. This is straight up fucking highway robbery, Tom Nook. I know it's you, Satan. Nook? Mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here in hell. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook miles you can earn. I like my life a lot! I love it! My life here is amazing! I'm having such a good time! Oh, look at that! 400,000 bells! And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees and much more. Move-in fees? This is a getaway! What do you mean I'm moving in? So, the bottom line is you need 49,800 bells to pay for your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles, yes. Titty claps all around. I'll just, uh, go away. <laughs> Fuck was that? <laughs> was 
Was that my loadout? <laughs> is this where the battle royale kicks in? Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open up the Nook Miles app, and you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. This is sounding an awful lot like a pyramid scream, Tom Crook. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. Tom Nook is a fucking con man. He brought me all the way out here, told me that I was paying for the some island package just to pay off his gambling debt. Then I come here, I put down a tent that he made me do all the work for, and I was like, yeah, you're moved in now, sorry. Fucking Ponzi scheme bastard. I'm so happy to have you here as a resident of hell and a clan of Nook Inc. Turns out on the records it was called Crook Incorporated years ago. <laughs> Hooray! I'm in debt! That's how everyone leaves college in America. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. It, 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 the only things I can do actually are pay taxes and die. From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator. I wish I had one of those in real life. Don't, don't touch the power icon. You can also save and quit your game after pressing. Can I quit this life of debt? Also, I don't want it to be real time. It's like 10 p.m. here now. Don't say where, what time it is in chat because it counts as spam and I'll fucking kill you. I'll send Tom Crook after you. Um, but I want it to be daytime. I'm probably going to be streaming this at nighttime all the time. I don't want it to be nighttime all the time. Can I change it? I got a thing from Nintendo. Dear Tossboy, thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates as well from Nintendo. Place in my pocket. Okay. Dear Tossboy, congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. What is it? Give me anything! Oh, this sounds like hell for sure. Oh, it's just in my inventory? Oh. <laughs> I'm here! Ah, okay. I get it. I got a Nintendo Switch! Nintendo are just giving these away. Can I sell it for Tom Crook Miles? And a simple DIY workbench. Ooh. I, w I want to put down a workbench. Can I put down a workbench? Learn. Is this a DIY recipe? I wonder how I can memorize it. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just a... It's just a recipe for it? I don't know what I'm doing. Again, I've never played Animal Crossing. Leave me alone. Nook Miles. <laughs> Turns out this phone just actually has spyware on it as well. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook Stop in the Resident Services Center. This is also how I imagine hell would be like, that Satan would name everything after himself. Look, welcome to the Satan Subway. You can actually sit down over there at the Satan stand and wait for the Satan bus while you uh, pay your Satan taxes. Make the most out of island life, earn Nook Miles. I don't want Hell Miles. <laughs> we have Hell Miles. It says it right there. <laughs> to come on in, get your Hell Miles today. Yeah, I'm gonna send my, um, my hitman after it. <laughs> I have a phone in this game now as well. I'll send a hitman after Satan. I got really loud, Jesus. Custom designs. With this app, you can create custom designs to wear on clothing or display around the island. I can make my own custom clothing? Oh, no. There's a chance that your custom designs will be seen by other players during network play sessions when you visit another island, for example. 
Please don't create anything that infringes on others' rights. Don't use private information, yours or anyone else's, or offensive words or images. Guys, check out my new merch. It's my phone number. I want to make my own. Change design. Oh, yes. Um, okay. I would like... Um, can I- oh god, this is gonna take a while to figure out. Can I just change the entire background to, like, white? Hmm. Septic eye? No, 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 that'll just take way too long. Or does it just count as white anyway? Okay. I thought I could get rid of the grid. I just want to start off with something simple. Okay. Okay. I'm making merch for the island. What do you think it's gonna say? That is not what I wanted. There we go. Oh, well, I guess I kind of need that as well. That's right. We're making our very own hell merch. So that we can go out there and sell them on the streets to actually try and get some bells. So I can pay back my gambling debt to Tom Nook. And you know it's going to be allowed because I was able to name my island this. Uh, how many do I have between? Two spaces. Okay. This is looking really nice. I would wear this. Maybe I should make this real merch. <laughs> In real life. Hell. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's just gonna be called hell. <laughs> this whole fucking stream is cursed. It's so creepy that they- Hey, just- Eep. Hell. Hell! <laughs> ah, can I wear it? Face paint? <laughs> I can just paint hell on my face? Oh no. Oh no, that definitely looks like you're in a cult. I mean, technically- Oh no! How do I just- How do I go back to any- Oh no! How do I get any- how do I get this off my face? Ah, <laughs> oh, dicks! I put a self-portrait flag on my face? <laughs> oh, this is so dumb! Wait, I wanna- I wanna wear this on my- my tops. No, oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Eyes on his cheeks. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? Hey, my name Tossboy. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh God! It just says it all the way around. Hell, 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 hell. <laughs> did you guys see that guy walking down the street with just hell written all over him? Hey, it was supposed to say hello, but we ran out of shirts. We ran out of space on the shirt. It it says hello. It says hell. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm in debt. I look great. I think it's time to break Tom Nook's legs. <laughs> what the fuck? Hi. Yeah. Toss boy, welcome, welcome. I see that you're sporting one of our nice shirts here in hell. Good job. As you can see, it is quite cozy in here. A lot different than your tent. Your tent was a desolate, barren, cold, piece of shit of a place. This place is nice and cozy. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Hmm. Yep. I always say that cozy means comfortable. Uh... Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. 
If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. I can't remember which fucking one is Timmy and which one's Tommy, but whatever. He can help you produce some of our essentials for thriving in the little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, <laughs> but quite generous. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, Daniel! Thank you for the raid! I appreciate it. Hell yeah. Welcome! Did you have fun playing yourself? I, I stopped in and watched some of your stream. It looked like you were having fun. For anyone joining, welcome. We have created hell in Animal Crossing. Welcome to hell. Um, uh, my character's name is to Toss Boy, and Tom Nook is Satan. Because he just gave me my debt of 49,800 bells. So, absolutely uh, Satan Tom Crook himself. <laughs> Daniel, thank you for the sub. <laughs> yes, break the scam artist Nook's legs. <laughs> Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop on how to really just steal souls that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful for you, so I do hope that you take me up on it, hmm? Okay. Which one of you is Timmy and which one's Tommy? Ah, welcome! Ah, welcome! You don't waste any time, do you? <laughs> We're still setting up for the starters. We intend to offer a small selection of goods to our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. Okay, I'll take a look. An inflatable sofa? A handy water cooler. Very nice. A handy water cooler and an inflatable sofa in hell sound like exactly what I want. Anything catch your eye? We're not just sellers, we're also dealers! <laughs> Including stuff gathered on this island. Like weed. I mean, oh, I'm fucking Jones and man. And because we want to support efforts to beautify the island, we'll even pay you a little bit in return for any of the weeds or trash you bring in. If you know whether we'll buy something, just ask. <laughs> Oh yeah, for those joining as well, I accidentally, uh, put my own face on my face. So now I have two faces. I don't know how to get rid of it. Can you- do you guys sell, like, like, face cloths and warm water? That's my soda, bitch! I'm putting it back in my pocket, I know you want to steal it. <laughs> it's so great to see you! The campfire was a lot of fun! <laughs> we burned a goat on it! <laughs> now Tom Nook is appeased for another day! We're all- we're here all night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything island related. We never sleep! Also, I'll be out and about during the day to check in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. <laughs> okay, if I go back in, is he gonna have his soda out again? I think he might. Hold on, let me check. You have your soda out again? Oh, now they're all reading books. How delightful. I don't trust them. <laughs> of course they never sleep. Look at all the bags under their eyes. <laughs> yeah, all the weed is just Satan's lettuce. <laughs> oh, striped tea. Can I put that on my face? Okay. I am collecting weed. I'm just gonna collect weed all night. You know, even in hell, you gotta make a living. You gotta just start dealing in hell. They got the best weed in hell. Sean, let me visit your island to give you my citrusy, fresh oranges. Maybe soon, Sino. I don't know if you wanna come to hell, though. It's quite dangerous in here. Everyone's crazy. I have, a, I have a severe gambling debt already. Oh, look at all this weed! Hell yeah! You know what the currency in here is called? Hell's Bells. Oh yeah, shake the asses out of the tree. Nice. Kinda thick though. What's going on with my face? Um, I... I painted... I painted my face with my face. Don't know how to get rid of it. It's um, it's quite a problem. 
I tried putting the blank on it again, and uh, it didn't work. Alright, here we go. <laughs> My cards are so fucking cracked out of his brain. Yes, collect the weed. Oh, there's Bam. You enjoying island life, Bam? You like it? You look angry all the time. Is it because I put your house down by the beach? I don't think he likes me. <laughs> Welcome, Toss Boy. Okay, can I sell you shit? Uh, I want to sell. I want to sell my little weed. I want to sell 50. Oh, it's so close to 69, though. Okay, sell it. How much do I get? How much are you gonna give me for that weed? Hey, yo, bro, 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 come here, come here, come here. Wait, you want some? You want some fucking weed? Hey, hey, come here. You want? You want some fucking weed? Yeah, come on in. Yeah, I got, I got the goods. I got some good weed for you, bro. I got some. What? What are you looking to buy it for? What, what do you want to? What do you price it at? Huh? What? What are you gonna give me for it? What are you gonna give me for the weed? Come on, man. Uh, fair price. Fair price. Come on, please. 530 bells! That's at least four grand's worth of high quality premium weed. Scam artists. Every single one of them. A sham! Cowboys, Ted! They're a bunch of cowboys! Alright, whatever. Oh, there's an ATM in there. What am I gonna do? Withdraw nothing? Alright, time to make more hell bells. Should I just go around getting weed? Barry, what are you doing up at this hour? Fast boy! Thanks for time for earlier. I got my tent all up and running thanks to that pep talk. The brochure said we'd be living on an uninhabited island, so I was all ready to go solo. Cheeky. I could totally go for having rock stars like you around, though. Shari. Are you getting high on your own supply? Let me know if you need anything. First of all, they're telling me all about where their tent is located and how comfortable their tent is. Now they're hitting on me at night time. Do you want me to come back to your tent, Shari? Because I won't. Not with an outfit like that. You need a hell shirt. I was thinking about how to thank you and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Wow! That's so good! Great! Now that's a lot of weeds. Wait, what? First thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. Who have you been talking to, Shari? Don't talk to the cops. That's kind of where I got this idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. You need an umbrella out of weed? You should ask Tom Nook to help you out. I would never ask him for anything. Other than to reduce my debt. I'm gonna pick up more weeds. What should I do next? <laughs> out of her prison wallet? Yeah, everybody's just pulling stuff out of their ass in this game. Like, where am I putting these? In my pockets? I have some deep-ass pockets. Sell peaches? But... What my peaches? She's a fucking narc, I'm calling it now. She's gonna rat me out to Tom. That's why she's like... I made something with weed! Do, do you know about weed? Do, do you know? Tell me what you know about weed. Oh, nothing. Oh, okay. Keeping an eye on you, Shari. Should I just take up all the fucking weed on the island? Uh, if you're just joining us, I put Bam down on the beach. I wanted to put his tent in the ocean. <gasps> I wanted to put his tent in the ocean, but it wouldn't let me. If it was up to me, everybody would be on their own, like, little separate piece of the island, away from me. Fish. I want fish. I need a fishing rod. Oh, he's running away! Get him! Oh, I can't get him. Damn! If only I had a pistol. It's okay. If I sell enough weed, I'll get a pistol. Maybe a shotgun. Tom Nook is a filthy capitalist. He really is. What's going on in this? Hedwig! Come back! 
But use this board to post important notices and other useful bits of information for everyone. Yes, yes. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to use the bulletin board to communicate with each other. Okay. Create post. <laughs> okay. Sharrow? <laughs> okay. Just so everyone's aware. I no, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. How do I edit it? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> A food <fush> king. <laughs> there. Done. <laughs> I can actually post it. <laughs> oh, amazing. Just just so everyone knows. Hey! Hey Bam! Bam, right. Did you see what was on the bulletin board, dude? Dude, it's so weird. It said the Shari's a fucking narc. I wonder who wrote that. Wait, can I edit it? Shit. Can, can I... Can I... Can I edit it? Um, hold on. Hold on, I got this figured out. I got this figured out. I got it. Fucking epic. Oh god, what did I do? No, 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 no. Go over there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Nailed it. Dude! Bam! That was you? Dude, you're just ratting her out like that? Good information, though. Thank you, Bam. Thank you. Dude, Shari. I don't know if you know this, but Bam's ratting you out. He called you a fucking narc, dude. Let me see some, what type of narc house you have. Sorry, tent. Yeah, fucking knew it. Did you see what they're saying about you? Hey, you showed up, cheeky. Okay, does she want me to... Oh. She even got the tunes and everything. She got a she's got a campfire, a little candlelight, a bed, and some tunes. Oh, I know what Shari's into. What's the latest? Uh -huh. I'm not doing sign ups for a DIY demo session. If you're interested, he said he can fit his whole fist in his mouth. I don't believe him, but he said he's gonna do it. You should check it out. It's about using stuff around the island to make even better stuff. So you're gonna want some tips. Meaning what? What are you trying to say, Shari? I don't know about you, but I get really attached to things I make. I just like using them more. Why don't you build yourself a boat and get off this island, Shari? I bet you rock a DIY. You'll be making cool stuff in no time. Go talk to Tom Nook, cheeky. Look at those cold, lifeless dead eyes. <laughs> this game's amazing. I love this. This is my way of playing Animal Crossing. This is the only way of playing it. Where's Bam? Bam Bam! Where are you, bud? Um, can I- is there any, like, settings that I can pull up? Ready to wrap things up for now? No, 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 no! Keep playing. Uh, maybe in my phone? I want to change it so that it's not real time. I want daytime! <sighs> What's my passport look like? Your passport information is shown here. This information may be seen by other players when visiting the island, for example. You can change your photo, title, or comment at any time. Customize them to show off your style. <laughs> look at that picture. <laughs> look at that adorable boy! Look at that super cute little toss boy. If that's not the cutest picture ever, I don't know what is. Oh, you have to quit and change the switch time. Ugh. Annoying. Uh... Okay, I can add a comment. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I was going to write, fuck bitches get money. Um, that's a toss by rolls. Uh, um, <laughs> okay. Rye. No. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Tox boy, resident rep, ride fast, eat ass. Hell peaches. <laughs> Can I get rescued, please? I need off this fucking godforsaken island. Oh, there's my map. Check the map for your current location. You can also press X to change the settings and choose whether to display the mini-map during your day. <gasps> ah! That's what I want, yes. Always on. Yeah! Oh, Bam's in bed. I just want anyone finding out. Am I getting more nook miles? You traveled a long way just to move to our little island. Yeah, hell yeah, I'll take my miles. I got 500 miles! Neat. That's pretty good. Oh, I can take a picture? Take picture using various filters and effects. Pictures will be saved to the album on the home menu, and other users will be the same system will be able to see them. Oh, cute. Can I... No. <laughs> oh, can I zoom in? Oh, no. <laughs> it just squirted water on the ground. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I got coral. How did he get out there? He was just in his tent. I saw it on the map. I'm watching you, bam. Okay. I wanna go sell. Ah, big spider! Ew! Poke it. Can I poke it? Is it dangerous? Will it kill me? Gee, I kinda wanna touch it. Come here. Oh, pick the weed. Oh, I can't pick him up. Do we need a net or something? God damn it. Okay. Welcome, Task Boy. How may I help you today? I want to sell. I want to sell you some peaches. How much will you give me some for peaches? Ten peaches. How much? Ten little asses. Some peaches? Sure, how about if I have a thousand bells? Dude, all I need is 49 bells. 40, 49 peaches. I'm good at math. A thousand bells for some tiny little asses. Ah, before I forget, I want to tell you something about the fruit you just sold me. It's mine now, bitch. When you eat food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized with more power than you might have imagined. <laughs> more power than you might have imagined? What does that mean? Timmy, what does that mean? Here on Hell Island, what does more power than I could have imagined mean? Has anyone shared that with you? What I mean is, you could break open rocks or even maybe dig up a whole tree. <laughs> What? I can become Satan himself in hell. Now, it's fine for me to sell you your fruit, but you should try eating it once in a while too. I'm gonna eat little asses and break rocks. They lace the peaches. Peaches are just crack. I'm beginning to think so. Eat a peach. Okay, can I... Can I crack the the planet in half now? <laughs> Give me more uh, money. There was a hundred bells in that tree. Hell's bells. Okay. What if I eat ten of them? Can I can I upgrade this? Just eat ten at once. I'm eating ten. You need tools? No. I- I have the sheer indomitable will. I'm eating ten peaches, and I'm getting fucking 
well, maybe, yeah, I should actually wait until I have two eggs. Because otherwise I'm just gonna waste my teeth. I need more stuff. Is the whole start of this game just picking up weed? And then selling it? How about you guys dig up the weed and just give me the money? I don't need to be in my tent. Let me say go into Tom Nook's tent and build it. There's a workshop next to Tom Nook. Ah! Interesting. I'm just gonna say, guys, Animal Crossing is my type of game. I'm having a fucking great time. Oh yeah, he said he'd give me some tips. Look at him drinking a Satan soda. Ah, test boy. Oh wait, that's not his voice. Hello, hello! What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Actually, no, you're- Most of your face is just head. Um... Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for island life, hmm? So, shall I put you down for the next available session? I'd love to, Satan. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment. Funny how that is. The devil's hands are idle playthings or something. I don't know. Let's get started. <laughs> Welcome to my DIY workshop. <laughs> we didn't go anywhere. <laughs> it's like step into my office. Welcome. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, as it means. I know you're a bit of a dumbass, so I had to explain that. You'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials to follow a recipe and then craft using a workbench like this one. I have a recipe for a workbench. Can I just craft a workbench with your workbench and then go over to my workbench and never have to look at your workbench ever again? So, today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere. What am I guy for a rod, dude? For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you've collected the materials. Okay, five tree branches. How many do I have? I have eight. I've already done the work. Ah, Toss Boy. Found the necessary material. Hmm? Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. I would like to build a machine gun. Let's do it. Oh god. <laughs> get him, Toss Boy! Fuck it up! I made a flimsy fishing rod. That. Not a flimsy fishing rod. That's just a toolbox. Yes, that was perfect. No one fucking tell him that that's a toolbox and not a fishing rod. He'll come back in here and spend more money. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. Mm -hmm. And that concludes my free DIY workshop. It's $400 next time you want to try it out. There's one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you. Free of charge, naturally. Well, you told me that putting up my tent was free of charge. You told me that getting here was just an island vacation. You told me a lot of things. And now I'm 49,800 bells in debt. My face is so fucked up. It's rude. Alright, this is Toss Boy's face and that's just how he looks. I'll just need to send him to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? For the last time, Tom, I'm not calling it a fucking Nook phone. It's a smartphone and we're just gonna call it that. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use any time. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I'm no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. Hmm? In my experience, you should aim in the front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. I also just love eating fish. Will this be on YouTube as well? Yeah, I'm recording it too, so I'll upload it there afterwards. Edited down, of course. 
the iNook. See, that's even better, Tom. I know you. I know Tom Nook and Tim Cook have a bit of a history going on, but you could just call it the the iNook. You know, splice the two together. Sure, you'll get sued, but clearly you have enough money. <sighs> Don't fall into a pitfall. What? The Nokia. That's perfect. God damn. Beware of the bees. Why are you scaring me? I saw a fish down here. Here, fishy, fishy. There's a fish. Oh, I ran and scared it. Oops. Fish. Fish. Fishy, fishy. I want a fish. Hold. Phew. How do I cast my line? This isn't working. Come on, fish. Here, fi- Here, fishy, fishy. Do I have to press anything when I- when I get it in? Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna toss it right in his face. This is why they call me Toss Boy. Fuck yeah. Ow, oh, dicks! Oh, press A when it goes under. Is he gone? Damn it, my fish friend! Bam, it's all your fault! Your stupid house is down here on the beach and scaring away all the fish. You stupid bastard. I wanna fish somewhere else. Fishy! Here, fishy, fishy! Here, fishy, fishy! <gasps> it's a big lad! Get him! Ho nice. Get him! He's swimming upstream, but he'll like it. <gasps> Have it, taste it, feed it, feed it, like it, taste it, lick it, lick it, eat it. Got it! Whoa, look at that big lad! Yes! I caught a dice. Hope I find some space. That's how you know we're in hell. Everybody talks in fucking riddles and puns. I got a fucking dice, dude. I'm an expert fisherman. Tom Nook ain't got nothing on me. Hi, Shari. You wanna see my expert fishing skills? Watch this. Okay, that was that was a bad toss. I'm not living up to my name right now. <gasps> oh, he's right there. Come on. Come on, sniff it. Sniff. <laughs> sniff it. Come on. Here, fishy, fishy. Here. Here, sniff. <laughs> Sniff, 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 sniff. Sniff the boober! Sniff the little thing! Come on. There you go. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, nibble. Nibble. Nib, nib. Nibble, nibble. <laughs> gotcha! What did I get? Yay! I got a crucian carp. My skills are sharp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I cook my fish? <gasps> Look at this big boy! That's a shark! I'm gonna catch a shark, everybody. Well, actually, the only shark around here is Tom Nook. Hoo! Come on. Sneef, 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 sneef! Come on. Come on. We're fishing in hell. Damn right. Come on. Have it. Nibble. Nib, nib. Nib, nib, sheep, nib. Nibble, nibble. Come on, I know you want it. I know you want it, big boy! Come on in, big boy! Have it! I don't think he wants it. Do I need a better fishing rod? <gasps> okay, that was a worse toss. <gasps> if I hold it, do I toss further? Toss boy is learning all new tricks. Oh. Come on. I can't see! There we go. Come on! Shit! Damn it! Ah, oh, my hellfish! I got too selfish for my hellfish. I don't want you, you tiny minnow. I want the biggest fish. I want to catch like a whale. I don't even need bait for these fishing rods. Here, fish, 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 fish. 
I almost had it. Fucked it up. There's no other fish around. Look at these tiny, tiny, tiny little fish. Ooh, big boy. Yeah. Wait. Cast it. Why is he not casting the rod? There you go. Is because fucking Bam Bam's house is in the way? Well, I put it there, so it's my fault. Come on. Come on, I can't throw it in front of your face. Because Bam Bam's an asshole. Here, there you go. That's way too far away. Hold on. Hold on. The perfect toss for a boy. Go! Yeah. Yeah. Have it. Steve Sneef. Steve Sneef, come on now. There you go. Ooh, nip. Yes! What did we get? Oh, hell yeah! Yes! I got a C bass. No, wait. It's at least a C plus. I can't. I can't. This is the this is the type of bullshit that goes on in hell in this game. It's ridiculous. Doesn't it doesn't even make any sense, Toss Boy. God damn. Alright, put the fishing rod away. <laughs> Look at the fish, they're so cute. <laughs> Can I eat one? Show it off. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is my fish! You like it? Smells. It's still alive as well. Kill it, Toss Boy. Jesus. All right. Time to shake the little asses out of the tree. Does any of these trees have money in them? Smell that? I smell money. There's money somewhere here. Shake all the trees. <gasps> I want it! Bam, how do we get it? Bam, come over here, I'll stand on your shoulders. How do we get it? Oh, I want it so bad. Slingshot? Oh, I don't got one of those. Hell's not as fun as I thought it would be. I mean, I'm, I'm in debt. My character keeps making shitty puns in regards to fish. And I can't get the prizes at the top of the rainbow. This place sucks. Please we have trees full of tiny asses though. I will take those and bring them home and eat the tiny ass. I guess I should just pick up everything, huh? The sea bass is the most common fish in salt water and it doesn't sell for much as well. Don't be so triumphant, Toss Boy. Chat doesn't like it. God damn. Alright, tiny asses, come here. Shake all the trees. They're bound to have something. Yay! Branches! Wow! Who would have known? In a fucking tree of all things! Stung by wasps. <laughs> God. I have a plaster over my eye. I get stung in the eye by wasps. <laughs> Toss boy, you don't look so good. In fact, I dare say you look like absolute garbage. <laughs> I got stung in the face by wasps. It, it, it fucking hurts real bad. <laughs> hurts real fucking bad. <laughs> Oh, toss. God damn.
damn, I didn't know about the freaking bees. Ah, <sighs> son of a bizno. <laughs> Welcome, Toss Boy. I see that you've met our local wildlife. Ah, Toss Boy. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? Talk to me. I'm all ears. I told you, no, you're all head. What should I do about my face? What should I. All in here? Fucked. This, this eye doesn't even work anymore. Tom? About my moving fees. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees? Well, you owe 5,000 miles, so let's talk when you've had a chance to earn a few more miles, huh, fucking dumbass? Do you know how mathematics work? But here's- there's no need to rush. No, no, enjoy your island life and save up those miles. I hate you, Tom. Uh, I found a creature. Oh, splendid! Let's have a look, shall we? Found a sea bass, look. <laughs> Where'd you get the bag? Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a sea bass. Hmm. If this island can support a sea bass, why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here. What if there's like badgers and shit? Boss boy, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? What should I do, chat? Should I send it to the museum for studying? My, my precious, precious sea bass that I spent so long procuring. Yeah? Alright, I'll do it. But only because you said so. If this comes back to bite me in the ass like the bees, I'll kill you. Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your sea bass. Where did you put that? Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. I'm telling you, he's just putting spyware on my phone. The Critterpedia. It helps to figure out which critical role character you are. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you will get all the important details about the bugs and the fish you catch. Yes, yes. I do hope you'll continue to fill it up with your discoveries and share them with me too. It's called a Pokedex, Tom. Is he- is he- is he gonna puke? Is he gonna barf? Is that what's happening? I- I know when you're about to cough up a hairball. I've seen it. What are you, what are you doing? You need an inhaler! Hold- Tom! Tom, hold on! Tom! Don't die! Tom! Tom! I got it! I got it! Tom! Tom, puff! Take a puff, Tom! There you go, there you go. There you go. Okay. Oh, he's fine now. Wait! I could've just let him die! And I wouldn't have to pay my debt! Damn it! I fucked it up. I just saved a life. Tom Nook's life. Ooh, I can make fire. Ooh, a net, yeah. Hell yeah. I want a net. Look <sighs> at <laughs> my fucking face. I, I made a flimsy net. It's awesome. I, I need a doctor. Why is there no hospital on this island? Um, what do I need to craft the other one? Uh, fire. Just need one more branch. I'm gonna burn this whole fucking place down. Oh, how could I forget, hmm? I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our nook stop. It's an ATM. Just call it that. 
It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services, Tossboy. The first is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. He's an absolute con man. Everything is named after him. I bet he doesn't even have a patent on half of it. Second, this terminal serves as an automatic bell dispenser, or ABD. ATM. For the Bank of Nook. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Ooh, can I buy medicine? Once per day, accessing the Nook Stop will award you a bonus daily miles. Day one, 50 bonus miles! Whoop whoop! Um, Nook Shopping. Fine. Uh, ooh. Rain boots. Outdoor shorts, look how cute they are. Oval glasses, a rain hat. An outdoor bench. I kind of want the rain hat. I'm gonna buy the rain hat. I, I'm gonna get the rain hat. I want the rain hat. Wait, I didn't see where it went. Fuck. Come back again. We'll be here. Oh, shit. Withdrawal. We don't currently have any savings. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Wow, this really is just like college simulator. <laughs> Work your ass off because you're in debt and you have no life savings. Welcome to hell. Do you have medicine? No. <gasps> There's a whole other tab. Medicine! I would like a single, please, because I'm broke and poor and I have no money. I'm poor. Help. Excellent purchase. Yes, thank you for the 400 bells. Anything else look interesting? Are you- You're selling my peaches for 400 bells! You bought 10 of my peaches for a thousand bells! I know you're selling them for 400 apiece! You shafty bastard! Scam! Fucking cowboys, Ted! They're a bunch of cowboys! <sighs> Hate these. I don't care what you have to say. I'm upset. <laughs> you need medicine, toss boy? Wait, will the medicine fix me? I'm gonna just take it. Ah, back to normal. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's not go near the bees again. Bro, that means you're scamming him? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how that math checks out. Um, my phone did a ding-a-ling. Aw, oh, this is cute. The UI is actually really nice looking. Check this app for info on the DIY recipes you've collected. Cool. Alright. I need to go to my mail. Did anything arrive in the mail for me? Like a sweet, tasty little hat? No. Oh. Alright, can I go to bed? I'm very sleepy. Go to bed. Is this it? Do I... Hello? Is it just... Is it just sleeping in real time? <laughs> I also have new recipes in your inventory that you can learn to craft more. Oh. Just... Just passes in real time? 
This is a real-time game? This is horrific! I want to time travel. I just slept for 400 seconds. <laughs> I'm ready to fucking go. Simple DIY workbench. Wait, how do I use this? Skip to winter. You got a time travel? Jesus. Oh, that's annoying. Learn it? I thought I did. Oh! Oh, because now I have the DIY workbench. Ah, interesting. Last time he just looked at it and just went, Ah, yes, this thing! Cool, back in my pocket. Man, we're gonna be sleeping at nighttime, or we're gonna be playing this at nighttime all the time now. I have a net now, though. I wanna go out and catch spiders, and then release them upon the unsuspecting people of Animal Crossing. Let's craft. Um. Uh, ah, oh, cool. What do I need? An iron nugget? And hardwood? I don't know how to do those. Oh, do Yes, I will become the spider lord. I know I can change my time in my switch, but... I don't know, that feels like cheating, doesn't it? Okay, I- Oh no, I'm right next to the bees. Are they gonna attack me again? Haha, <laughs> I stole their house! Take that, you freaking bees! This is just like Ape Escape now. Nice. Alright. I want to look for spiders. There was a spider around before. Now he's not here. Whoa! Oh. This ass looked even bigger from the distance because of the way the, <laughs> the perspective shifted. Just keep selling asses and weed. I'm being the greatest drug dealer that Animal Crossing has ever seen. How much weed do I have? 60. I need to get to 69. If I have 69 weed, then that's good. Okay. 53, 54, 5. Wait, are they even weed? 65. I want the big ones. 56, 67, 68. 69, dude. 69 weed. What's up? I did it. I conquered Animal Crossing. Shari, why aren't you in bed? It's night time. I'm allowed to be out because I'm Satan's... Worker bee. <laughs> Hello, I would like to say that I have conquered Animal Crossing because I have had 69 weeds. And you will buy them for me and the credits will roll. There you go. 690 bells. Satan's little helper. <laughs> yeah, that's what I am. Fuck Santa, I'm Satan's little helper. Tom, why do you look like you just blazed up a doobie? Maybe you did. Um, Tom? Tom, what should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. Let me just feel it out of the air. Mmm, yes, toss boy. Put my hand in your mouth. What? That was weird. I don't want you to do that, <laughs> JK. Unless... Well, this island is a diverse habitat for many interesting creatures, you know? Other than us, uh, and bam, whatever the fuck he is. Yes, yes, you can catch all kinds of insects and fish if you practice with your net and fishing. I'd be most curious to see any creatures that you do catch. Mm, by all means, bring them to me. <sighs> okay. I want spiders. Please? Wait, can I beat the shit out of Shari with my net? Shari, come here for a second. I wanna do an experiment. No. Minutes before treating you well? Cheeky. Or minutes been treating you well. See you around. Don't be nice to her. Can I? I'm 
gonna beat the shit out of everybody. Whoa, watch where you swing. Okay. I'll watch where I swing. <laughs> Fucking knock her ass out. <laughs> Darn thing, I didn't see that. Some advice for next time you take a swing at me? I swing back. <laughs> okay. Really now? We'll just see about that. Oh, I didn't swing back, huh? Yeah, you're all talk, Shari. Come on now, quit fooling around. You're all talk, Shari. We ain't gonna do nothing. Th that was a threat. She's threatening me. All I'm doing is trying to catch all the fucking flies that are inside her mouth. Ow! What's wrong with you? I'm not in the mood for this today. You know what's good for you? You're gonna stop it right now! Sheesh. Some people on this island in hell are a little sensitive. Shari, what if I give you a tiny ass? She's gonna tell Satan, what can he do? What can he do that he hasn't done to me already? I've been attacked by bees, I went half blind, I saved Satan's life when he had an asthma attack. Alright, I want spiders. Spiders? I also need to get a pole. So I can pole vault my way across to the other section of the island. Spiders! Oh, spiders! I told you if you came to hell, you could beat the living shit out of your friends. I said that. I'm just picking up all the weeds. See, I'm a good Samaritan. Sooner or later, we're gonna offer Bam up to the pyre for Satan. Did my fucking hat arrive yet? How long do I actually have to wait before my hat shows up? Spiders are rare? No! I saw one. I didn't have my net to catch it. Till the next day? This game really is just life. So when I actually go to sleep and I start playing this in the morning, it's going to have passed a whole day and then my hat arrives? This is difficult. Oh, she's stomping. Oh, she mad. I'm sorry, Shari. I'm really not. She kind of deserved it. She had it coming, okay? Okay, let's go fishing a little again. I want to catch this big fish up here. No, that's a bad one. Stop. Stinky. Hoi! It was right in front of his face, but now he's moved. Whoa! Perfect! Perfect! Atta boy, toss boy! Get him! Get him! Get him, you dog! It's a fucking boot. I caught a boot. It, uh, wasn't made for swimming. How did a boot just... I can already wear these if I find another boot, right? I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. How did I catch a boot? How did a boot grab my fishing line? Is that a sentient boot? I don't trust it. That's a good tip, thank you. Carter? You can just use left and right D-pad to switch. <gasps> wow. That's so much nicer. Whee! Come on, fishy. Come on, turn. 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 Turn this way. Oh, please. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, little fishy. Oh, yes. Have it, taste it, feel it, want it. <gasps> wow. That's a cool one. I caught a loach. It's looking... At me with reproach. You had to think about that one there, didn't you, Tossboy? I got a fish! It will, uh... It'll make a, a nice dish. 
All right. Let's go back in here. Let's see what's going on. Can I buy anything in here? Can I buy the other boot? An outdoor bench. I don't want that. A portable record player. That might be cute. Although it takes a whole fucking day for stuff to arrive. The rain boots are so cute! I kind of want the rain boots. I'll buy the rain boots as well. Thank you! Alright. Let's... Let's go and get wood for a campfire. I'm scared of bees, though. <laughs> Can I tell which one has bees in it? Oh, wait, could I... Could I disturb bees and then run around and get them to come after one of the other characters? <laughs> I kind of want to get bees and then run towards Shari. <laughs> A coin! Money! Come on, bees! money! Dude! They said money doesn't grow on trees. Ah, bees! Run, Jerry! Oh god, they don't chase her. Oh no. Oh no. Jerry, help! <laughs> oh god damn it, Sherry. You let this happen. She just walks away. She doesn't care. Sherry, you asshole. Oh, I can catch them with the net? Oh. I should do that. Can I unleash them? What happens if I get stuck by more bees? <laughs> Does my other eye close up and then the game's over? Because I can't actually do anything? Oh, bees. <laughs> I want the bees. <laughs> That's it. Beat the shit out of the tree. Hey, level 5 hype train. Thank you. Okay, whatever. Oh, wait. There's a butterfly always flying around Tom Nook's tent. Can I... Oh, it's not here now. Or is it around my tent? I saw butterflies before. God, nothing's here whenever I have the stuff to get them. <laughs> you doing good, Toss Boy? <laughs> You're looking a little rough for wear. Alright, whatever. There's no spiders anywhere. I really wish I had spiders. Lost Light, thank you for the 200 bits. And the Red Soul of Determination, thank you for the Prime. Cutie Kenny, thank you for the two months. Uh, Lost Light, thank you for the thousand bits as well. Uh, Smitten, thank you for the thousand bits. Tama, thank you for the Prime, as well as Cookie. Uh, and Skipper Nation, thank you for the Prime, as well as Wolf, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Quam. Ooh, big fish. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Hop. I want the big fish. I want the big boy. Come on, Bertha. Come on, big boy. Hey, woo, got it. Is this just another sea bass? Same joke as well. At least come up with a new joke, Toss Boy. You piece of shit. My pockets are full. <gasps> oh, drop it. We gotta go sell some stuff. Hey, yo ho! Little Tanuki boys! I have things to sell. Can you do anything with the fire? Catch the fire. Put the fire inside. Can I push the fire? Push, pull the fire. The old games used to say, see? Bass. All the time, Jesus. How are you lads? How's it going? Are you well? How can I help you today? I would like to sell. 
I will sell you everything. Can I sell my Nintendo Switch? No, I want to. I want. No. I want to. I didn't want to exit out of it. I want to put down my Nintendo Switch. Why haven't I done that yet? Um. Okay. I'll sell you some coral. How much will you give me for that? Five hundred bells! For some fucking sea dirt? I'll take it! Taco, thank you for the sub. That's a whole lot of hell bells. I am offering. Can I select multiple things? <gasps> I can. Sand dollars. Don't tell him that it's just actually sand. I'm 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 selling everything. No, I'll keep some peaches. There you go. How much? Five thousand bells. Holy shit! I don't know if I should do that though. Should I actually sell some of these things? Give the fish to Tom? Oh, everyone's telling me not to sell the fish. Okay. Actually, I'll pass. You know? I'm bigger than you, so I can headbutt you and crack your skull open. Okay, let's give the fish to Tom. Here, Satan. I found a creature. Oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? I found this one. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a dace. Would you mind if I sent this magnificent creature along to my museum curating friend as well? Sure. Send him everything. Oh, by the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench lately? Uh, yeah? That's great. Come to think of it, I've seen you tinkering around a bit over there. Keep up the good work. That reminds me. I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? My god. He's just putting malware on my phone. He's gonna track my location and know exactly where I am all the time. Satan's always watching. And he's sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood, along with the recipe to craft an axe. Wait, what happens if I hit Shari with the axe? Yes, yes, I think an axe would come in quite useful on this island. It is... After all. Because so many other things are made of wood. Hmm. I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all a part of the island experience. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, so that's why I give him the fish, because he gives me... Uh, stuff? He gives me recipes? I want to give you this boy, because I like him. He's got a little mustache. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a loach. Would you mind if I sent this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send them, send them all off. Why not? I have a proper reward for you this time. That's my way of saying that everything I've given you up until now is just a bunch of bullshit. What are you giving me? I've given you a red tulip bag. Hooray? Just a little sampling of a product we sell. Oh! Red tulips! Got it. Anyway, give it a whirl, and if you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy more. I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all a part of the island experience. I have a ton of stuff to give you, Tom! I wish I could just give it, to, give it all to you, immediately. Um, I already gave him a sea bass, so I'll just give him the Crucian Carp. Why not? He's gonna have the best museum ever. I just want royalties. Oh, remember the flower samples I gave you? I forgot to mention something. They're a bunch of bullshit. The flowers that grow will be very strong. They spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. Ah, but if you water them each day, that's where the magic happens. Watering opens up the possibility of propagating and crossbreeding your flowers to develop rare colors or even stronger weed. 
Sorry, I just got a text from someone that said, You're a little bitch. <laughs> and how might you water them, you ask? Well, I've just sent you the DIY recipe for a watering can. My accountant warned me about giving this sort of thing away for free, so... It's going to come at a price. How much you're willing to pay? You, you just gave me the recipe. I don't need to pay anything. Right. Yeah, I just did it out of the goodness of my heart. So, if this is just a power of the island, give and take. I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries. I will, I will not. Should I craft something using Tom Work, Tom Work's Nook Bench? <laughs> sure. Booties! Ooh, and a sacrifice torch. A flimsy axe? Ooh, I can make it! Good thing I didn't sell my stones. Good thing I didn't sell anything. <laughs> I made a flimsy axe. You wanna see it? Because I fucking can't. My eyes all covered over. I am gonna use my axe and I'm gonna beat the shit out of Shari with it. It's hell. What's gonna happen? She can't die. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Shari. Shari, where are you, dearie? Oh, Jacka boy has got something to tell you. Oh, Jacka boy has got something that he wants to say. Oh, Shari. Where are you, Shari? Come out and play, hey! Where is she? I'm gonna find her. Don't nobody say anything, but I put find my iPhone. I linked it to mine from hers. So I know where they all are. Put spyware on her phone. Okay, that's just showing me where their tents are. That's not helpful. Oh, Shari, dearest! Where are you? <laughs> Sorry! Come out and play! Okay, let me just practice my swings. <clears throat> You're gonna have to look cooler than that if you wanna be intimidating, Toss Boy. It looks like he can't even swing an axe. It's okay. You don't need to swing it that hard. As long as you hit him in the back of the head, they'll go down easy. Sherry! Are you in your tent? <laughs> oh, back against the wall, is it? Okay, can't bring out my axe in here. Just thought I'd say hi. This music is very fitting. Hi, Sherry. The back of your head looks really nice today. It would be a shame if someone just kind of like... Brushed it. <laughs> okay, bye, best friend! Oh, <laughs> she's up to something. She knows. She's gonna hide behind this tree. Oh yeah, I can knock down the trees now. Wow. Now let me go! Can I actually chop them down? No. Because you swing it like a tiny baby. You a tiny baby, Toss Boy? Why are you swinging like a tiny baby? Swing with some fervor and some gusto. Tiny baby boy? Huh. My pockets are full already. Okay, drop it. Um. Oh, yeah. I have this recipe. I should learn it. Ta da! A leaf umbrella. Sweet. I should see what it takes to actually make that and then go to Shari and give her. <gasps> spider! Yes! I want the spider. Ah! Did I get poisoned by a spider? Oh, I don't feel so good. Boy just got fucked by a tarantula. Haha, 
got the butterfly. Eat it. Gain its courage. I got a mouth. And I had a ball doing it. Oh, God. It's not just the fish. It's everything he captures. Why? This is hell. But I can't carry anything else. Should I swap it for something? Uh, swap it for... Swap it for the shirt, because I'm never going to need this again. Or the... Okay. Oh, fuck me. Fine. It vanished. I did eat it! I knew it. Now I can fly. I need to put stuff away. Can I just drop this? Oh, I can't put anything in the plaza. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Stop, drop, and roll. There. That's bait for Shari. She can't resist a good striped shirt. Wait, let's go see what the leaf umbrella needs. I'm so cute. <gasps> it's back. Nice. <sighs> Not again. <laughs> oh, Thomas! Thomas Crook, I have a mothy I would like to give you. Ah, Toss Boy. You're looking a little worse for wear. Uh, I found a creature. Can I show you the moth? Yes. Here, I put it in a nice Tupperware container so you can eat it fresh. Sure. Send it to your curating friend. Now give me something. It's all part of that island give and take. Hold the phone. Someone's calling. You hold the phone then. Blathers? Is that you? Oh! What splendid time. Yes, yes. Do you remember the venture we discussed? The money laundering scheme? Well, it's come to fruition. Yes, I got somebody in my net. Got somebody in my sights right now, so to speak. So, sorry, sorry, Toss Boy. It's just a, it's just a personal call. Nothing got to do with you. Yeah, he's an idiot. Yeah, I'll start the ritual right now. The fire is lit. Yes, it starts now, brother. I'm currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Hell. Yes, yes, the local fauna are as abundant as expected, just as I told you. Mm hmm How many precisely, you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet. But I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm What? Seriously? Well, that is very exciting. Oh, well, you'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. Customer. More like you own me. <laughs> I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Blathers. The one who curates a museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. Uh, but I could use your help, Tom. Tom? 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 It's happening again. It's happening again. Tom, deep breath. Deep breath. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Good lad. Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to help find a spot for Blathers? We'll need a good sized space to really build out a world class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting, it's all coming together. Yes, yes. Our plan is coming together now, brother. Blathers tent marker. Ooh. Hold on, I want to know how much I need for a leafy umbrella. Oh, that's very cute. Yes. Pockets are too full. Gosh, ding dang. I needed how much? 15? Oh, wait. I can't sell specific numbers of stuff, can I? It's just kind of all or nothing. Well, god damn it anyway. What is wrong with his face? What is wrong with your attitude? His face is perfect. He is a glorious boy. Leave him alone. Boo doo. Uh, should we put the tent marker here? Oh. This 
also be a good place for Blathers' tent. Let me imagine it. Oh, what does it look like? Oh, it looks epic! Is this a good spot? Hell yeah, it is. I don't have to build this, do I? Otherwise, I... Okay, we're good. Okay, stop telling me to fix my face. His face is perfect the way it is. Alright, I don't think there's a single thing wrong with his face. I think it's a beautiful face. Ah, Toss Boy. I take it you found a suitable spot for Blathers to set up, hmm? I did. I did and it's perfect, Tom. I knew I can count on you. Thank you. I'll let Bladders know that he can move in as soon as he wants. In any case, you just got here, so I'd hate to see you push yourself too far on day one. Yeah, how uh, it'd be so bad if I pushed myself on day one where you told me that I was 49,000 in debt. You're an asshole, Tom. You just have a thin veneer of niceness. But it's no fur off my nose. It's no sweat off my sack. If you want to rack up those nook miles and pay me back quickly. I got a few tips for racking up the old nook miles, so don't hesitate to ask if you need a little advice. <laughs> now get on your knees. <laughs> Alright, let's craft this little umbrella. That is not at all what that looked like. Wait, how do I use it? Oh, right, I'm, in, I'm indoors. I can't use it anyway. <sighs> Jakku, thank you for the gifted subs. That's really nice. And um, somebody earlier gifted a bunch as well that I think I missed. Uh, Stay Home Goblin, thank you for gifting so many subs too. I really appreciate it. Uh, cute. Oh, Shari, come out and play. Shari, where is she? Spider. I want it. I want it. I want it. Ow! Oh, God, it's bitten again. The poison. Ugh. Oh, it hurts! Oh, deep in my veins! It's okay, I'm building an immunity! When my spider army is complete, I'll be able to wrap them all up together and then I will be immune while everybody else dies! Okay. Uh, it hurts. Oh, how silly of me to forget. I need to give you a brief introduction to that box there. That is a recycle box for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, yes. If you see anything you feel or you like, feel free to take it right on home. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking out what you want. What? A cardboard box? <gasps> My pockets are full. <gasps> what does it mean? Let me sell some shit. What's good to sell that I have? What are, what are these things should I sell? I think I can sell the weeds at least. Um. Anything else? Wasp nests? Okay. Shells? Um. Sell these sand dollars as well. Okay, that'll be enough for now. How much is that? 1940 bell was sold. Hell, bells! You got yourself a deal, motherfucker. Okay, I would like this thing now. Mine, mine. Nobody else. No, 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 no. Mine. Bye. And now it can be solid snake. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm gonna place it. I want to place it next to my tent. Because I think that that's gonna be a nice place for it. Because it's mine. Wow. Look at that. 
I'm some sort of decorator. You know, it's no big deal. Ooh, can I put my little Nintendo Switch on it? <gasps> I can! Oh, it's cute! Oh, I can play Animal Crossing while I Animal Cross. Maybe... There. Mm. I was gonna say, it's now the fish can actually play with it, but... No, fuck those guys. It's mine. That's so fun! <laughs> it's gonna fall in the river? No! It's fine. It's perfect the way it is. Leave it alone. What else do I have? What else can I make? I really want to kill Shari. But she's not coming out. She's like height. It's like she's scared or something. Shari! Is it because she's sleeping? Oh, yeah. Oh. I could kill Bam. I could kill Bam. Bam! Get in here for a picture, will you? Ba Bam! 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 You really are a piece of shit, you know that? Oh. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't doing anything. Ew! Um, maybe you're going for a new look, but that seems a little bit extreme. Kablang? Well, whatever you got has definitely not been skipping Stinger Day. Wish I had some medicine to give you because your face is fucked. Oh, but I can show you how to make medicine. It's easy. You do this, and then this, and then you got it. Oh. Fainting really cuts into your lap times. So make sure you use some medicine on you. Kablang. That was actually really nice. Maybe I should consider not murdering you. Oh, I can't! I can't swing my axe at the back of their heads?! <gasps> he gave me a hat! The denim hat is perfect for hell! Oh, dude, you're the best! I can't believe I almost killed you and not Sherry! Thank you, Kablang! I'm gonna call you Kablang from now on. Your name is gonna- No, I'm gonna call you Kablam! Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for some medicine. Daddy soup, as I like to call it. Okay. All right. Oh, hell yeah. You know why he gave me the hat? He was hoping that if I- if he gave me the hat, that I would cover up my face. Because he thinks it's disgusting. He's very rude. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. But he did give me medicine recipes, so... It balances it out, kablang, kablam, whatever the fuck your name is. I'll kill you... ...another time. <laughs> okay! Well, I think that's gonna do it for our little Animal Crossing adventure for right now. That was really fun. I wanna come back to this very soon and attack more people. Maybe, maybe we'll have to stream it a little earlier, or maybe I'll time skip next time on my Switch, just so we can actually go ahead and it's daytime, because it's going to be really annoying if I have to play at nighttime all the time. Um, I won't end my stream here. We'll hang out for another little bit, but that's going to be it for Animal Crossing. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will be uploading that to YouTube as well. There's going to be bits and pieces of that going up. Um, whatever we whittle down, whatever the editing ends up looking like, but that'll be fun. Um, cool. Let me turn off my switch here for a second. Sleep mode. Bye bye. Oh, <sighs> okay. Let's get some music going, shall we? No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. The music's back. Hell yeah. That was really fun. I can see why some people like the game because it is just that get in, turn off your brain, just do a few little tasks, get cute items, build cute little things. I personally just really love it when it's- when I can just dick around and do what I want. I love games where I can roleplay and I can make up my own characters and story and shit like that. That was really damn fun. 
We made hell. <laughs> um, but yeah. How are you guys doing? Uh, let me go back to just chatting. <clears throat> Have you guys been playing the game so far? Do you like it? As people who- As people who- Do you like it? As people who- oh, whoops. As people who have played a lot of Animal Crossing in the past, if you've played all the old ones, is, does it live up to the old ones? Is it better? Um... Cause I have no... I have no barometer for Animal Crossing stuff. It's great, it surpasses them. Oh, that's good. Um... Yeah, because I, I don't know what makes a good Animal Crossing game. I've always known that they're just games where you get in and kind of just live a life in them, and there's no real goal to it, so to speak. Um... So for me, that never really caught my fancy. Um... But I can definitely see why some people are just really, really into it. It's just crazy to think that that's one of the most hyped games of the year. I wonder how much of it is just... Nostalgia at this point, that people really like it. Great game for relaxing. Yeah, it definitely has that vibe. And it also has that type of vibe that it... It kind of ages with you. So if it is actually real time and you play it in real time, then going along in real time must be really fun. You didn't like it then? No, I I really liked it. It's just, I don't think it's the type- I like it because I'm dicking around with it for a stream. Um, I just don't know if I would immediately go to that type of game for my spare time sort of playing. Um, but it would be a nice game. I can see myself like hopping into bed and turning on something to watch and then just playing a little Animal Crossing for a couple of hours. Um, it's cute. It's- it's very, very cute. I just like dicking around and saying that we're in hell because it's funny. Um... But yeah, I'll come back to it soon. Maybe tomorrow if I have time. What day is tomorrow? Uh, Saturday? Yeah, I'll probably be around tomorrow to play it as well. Um... And the music is great. The art style and the music are lovely. Is there also randomization where... Like, the- the villagers are different every time you jump in, so you can have different looking villagers. Because that would be interesting. So last night I played the RE3 demo and Nemesis showed up, I panicked. My boyfriend laughed at me as I was freaking out and died once. <laughs> Yeah, it's really fun. I played it again, uh, on Steam when it came out. Because I don't like using a controller for those types of games, and then when it came out on Steam, I was like, Okay, yes, here we go! And then I could aim better. Really, really fun. I'm looking forward to when that game comes out. Full series. Yeah, yours are a kangaroo and a lion. Aw, oh, cute! And I got stinky villagers then. Uh, sorry if this is a long text, but how did you stream your Switch slash record your Switch? I might stream this game and make a video. Uh, I have, uh, a capture card. So you can buy an, a, cap a capture card from Elgato. I have one that's internal, so it plugs into your motherboard. And then it just has two HDMI ports on it. So you can plug your Switch into that, and then it shows up on, like, OBS, and you can record it there. Oh, you got a monkey and a gorilla? You get a hamster named Hamlet? That's very cute. <laughs> yeah, but what else is going on with you guys? How's life? How's everyone handling the isolation? I see that in some places it's a lot worse than it is here. For here, we're not that isolated yet. It is recommended to isolate yourself just because of what's going on, but we can still go out and do whatever we want and a lot of places are still open. Uh, but I, ha I am seeing, like, some friends in LA, everything's just completely closing down now. Like, yeah. restaurants and everything are closing. Cute! 
For me, it doesn't really matter all that much because I don't really go out much anyway. Because all the stuff I do is kind of based in my home, working all the time. But if your whole thing is going out every day and working, like, it must be a crazy change. Especially, it's scary for some people's jobs. Exams are cancelled. Yeah. Crazy times, man. We- <laughs> we made the mistake, kind of, of watching Contagion last night. Which I imagine a lot of people have watched. The resurgence of people watching it is massive right now, but watching it now and giving context for what we have now, all the terminology and all the things they do in that movie to handle it are all the things that are happening right now. They even use like social distancing and stuff like that as terms in the movie. And it was just like, whoa, this makes a lot of sense. Except in the movie, it's a lot scarier because at one point they're like, 26 million people have died from the MEV1 virus. What is this music? It's just the New Horizons soundtrack. People are fighting for toilet paper? Yeah, it's wild. Who knew that that would be the currency we go to? But, again, not the end of the world. Things will pass eventually. Um... What is it? Friday? Yeah. I should start recording Half-Life Alex soon. I've had it for like a week. And I just haven't had the time to sit down and record it properly because I've been focusing all my time on Doom. And the Doom episodes are long. And then... I can't upload Alex until Monday. But I'm really, really excited for it. GTFO with the boys? Yeah, I want to. Um, maybe next week. On Tuesday. We might be able to do it, because we, the developers are giving us the next set of levels, or one of the new levels to be able to play, so it might be then. But it keeps getting pushed back, because they're a small dev team. Make sure you use the index for Alex. Oh, I will. They said it works for everything. Quest and Rift S and everything as well, but, um, it's obviously Valve are making it, and Valve made the index, so I think it'll work best on that. Am I sad? No. Why would I be sad? You always ask how we're doing. The real question is, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Kind of a... The Invisalign's kind of hurting. Which everyone always says that it... Of course, anyone who's had braces or used Invisalign already knows that when stuff's pulling and moving your teeth, it's gonna hurt, but... It's not like, oh god, this is painful all the time. It's more like a dull ache. So you're just really, really aware of it when you're wearing them and your mouth is different and it's like, it like hurts your lips at first, just trying to get used to everything. Um, so that'll pass after a few days after my body starts getting used to them. Um, but other than that, I'm fine. I sound sad? What? That's one of my bigger pet peeves, is when everyone sees me in my YouTube videos and then they watch me on stream, they're like, You sound sad. I'm not sad. This is just how I sound normally. Hey, what's up, Chris? Good to see you, man. I'm sad because I was unable to kill Shari. <laughs> How's BB? BB is great. He's doing wonderfully. Chris, have you played Animal Crossing? Actually, better yet, are you playing Doom? Doom is my favorite game this year so far. Which is not that hard, because not a whole lot has come out, but... It's an amazing game. Where's BB? I have no idea. Just played for eight hours. I never played Doom, actually. Nice. Doom's great. Well, the new one is really, really good, because it has that fast-paced, in-your-face gameplay.
I highly suggest anyone to Doom. Anyone to play Doom, if you're in chat. It's really good, and you can tell a lot of love and care went into it. I cannot hear your accent anymore. Well, my accent's gotten a lot less over the years, and you've probably just gotten used to how my voice sounds as well. Have you played the Blackout Club? No, I I really wanted to, because I- somebody, um, IGP, the- if any of you know him, another YouTuber, he posted a tweet a while back saying like, why haven't Mark, Bob, and Wade played Blackout Club? Mark, Bob, Wade, and Jack played Blackout Club, because it seems like it's perfect for them, and I was like, oh yeah, that's a great idea, and suggested it to the guys, and then they played it without me. <laughs> I was bummed. I really wanted to play it with them. Show us BB. I I don't know where he is. God, this music's gorgeous. Doom helmet. Yep, yeah, that's it right there. It lights up, too. Hold on. So, this is from the Collector's Edition, which everyone has probably seen on my story and everything, but if you take this off, it lights up. You can't really see it on camera, but there's like lights here, and here, and here. It's awesome. I love that it's just a full-ass helmet. <laughs> What camera do I use? The Sony A7R2. <laughs> I should slip my eyebrow? No, thank you. Why your voice is different here? Because it's a live stream. I don't have the same setup for my mic. Whenever I record, I do post-processing on the mic to make it sound even better for YouTube videos. Can't get it to sound the same when it's live. How was my Paddy's Day? It was great. We played, um, Terraria with some of the Irish guys. That I will hopefully be uploading tomorrow, I think. Who's better at Doom, Mark or Sean? Don't do that. Another pet peeve of mine is people comparing YouTubers all the time. Especially when you're in creative fields. Like, there's nothing that kills creativity more than comparing one person to another. Ah, oh, thanks, Lauren. I'm glad you had fun. And thanks for the bits! Uh... Lauren, thank you for the El Rookie Beebs, Lauren. Thank you for the hundred bits. Still looking forward to Little Nightmares too. Yeah, when does that come out? Did we have a a release date for that yet? That and Kerbal Space Program too were announced at the exact same time. I want I want to play both. How's your girlfriend? She's great. She's the best. There's no one I'd rather be socially isolated with. <laughs> She's actually playing Animal Crossing right now as well. Oh, her character's cute. <laughs> She'll probably be playing it a lot more seriously than I am. Are these headphones better than the previous ones? I- yeah, I think so. How did you feel when making Irish the Hedgehog? It was so cool. We'd been talking about it for so long, and then when we went to the Sonic 
movie premiere because I know the people that work there and they were nice enough to let us go there. Um, and then when we were talking, we got to talking about the Irish stuff because it was coming close to Paddy's Day. It was like a month out, and they were like, "It's going to happen," and I was convinced that it wasn't going to happen. I didn't get the voice lines until a week before, and until then, I was like, "It's not happening. I don't think it's going to happen. There's no way." And then they finally released it, and they said it was the most liked and retweeted thing they've ever uploaded to the Sonic account, which just makes me so, so happy. I'm really glad that people liked it. Is Irish the Hedgehog canon? I mean, they said it was. <laughs> Well, they said it was Twitter cannon, so I don't know. Would you do a Terraria series on the channel? Maybe. I don't know, it was fun to play. We weren't really taking it that seriously when we were doing it. But it might be fun to play it for a series, I don't know. How do you get salt deposit in Subnautica? You just find it on the ground. Aw, oh, thanks Coffee Bean Auntie. I appreciate it. Take some bits from the good old VidCon squad. What's up squad? Hope you guys are doing well. Eccentric, thank you for the two months. And call me Buendan. Thank you for the hundred bits. Have you been enjoying the memes lately? We haven't even really had any good memes this year. We're in a meme drought. Can Evelyn join you on your channel again? Yeah, I should do something else with her. It was fun when we did those, like, sitting down and googling stuff together. And little quizzes. Should do some more stuff together. Ryder, thank you for the 200 bits! Have you heard of the exploration game named... Oh, the Iceland one? It's really beautiful. Yeah, I, I downloaded it and I played it for a little bit, but... It didn't really seem like there was a whole lot to do. Because it looked really, really good and really realistic. I don't know how to pronounce it. Maidral Sandur? Iceland? It's on Steam, you can look it up, but... It didn't really... It, wasn't, it didn't really tickle my fancy. Sventon, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And Stacy, think of the hundred bits earlier. Indigo Games, thank you for the Prime. And Zelly, thank you for the 300 bits. Do you think you will play some of the older Zelda games for YouTube sometime? Um, nah. I've never... Breath of the Wild is the only Zelda game I've ever finished. The other ones I've barely even played. Um, and I do want to go back and go through them at some point. But probably not for videos. I was playing Resi Wan with Evelyn. It's great. She knows exactly where everything is, so I don't have to like guess much stuff, but she tells me just enough to keep me on the edge of my seat so then when anything scary happens, she's just sitting back like <laughs> Mega Blue, thank you for the two months. Uh, Luca, thank you for the 100 bits. If you're looking for new games, you should check out Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Yeah, that's another one that came out that people have been asking me to play, but... I don't know. A lot of other games came out that were, like, much more on the top of my list, and 
Maybe I'll play it eventually, but it feels more like a stream type game than a full series. I don't want to commit to a full series of it and then have people be like, ah, we're not really that interested in it. Looks gorgeous, though. Kuro, thank you for the 100 bits. That's very sweet. Play Breath of the Wild 2 when it comes out? Sure. Do you and Felix ever do another collab? We talked about doing Minecraft again together. But who knows? I need to get back to Minecraft myself first. Do you plan on going to VidCon US? It's kind of up in the air right now. Uh, I They said it's still going ahead because it's, it's not until June, which is way outside the lockdowns and everything that are going on right now. But at the same time, I don't know. I'm going to VidCon UK, I just got really, really sick after it. Um, so it kind of depends. I was really planning on going, but now with everything that's going on, it's, it's like, I don't know if stuff will extend to June by then, if things will be better or worse. And also, I, there, part of me just doesn't want to risk things and risk your health and safety as well by making you all come to a meet and greet and stand around all so close to each other. Everyone's health is more of a priority than those types of things. And also, the, the meet and greets at those things are just not as fun as they used to be. Not at all because of you guys and not like my energy for them or anything like that. They're just way too clinical now. The one at UK was like the first 30 to 50 people got a great amount of time to be able to sit around and chat and talk. But then everyone's waiting in line for so long. And then when it comes like after those first 50 people, they're all like, they come up to me and they're like, hey, we're running way behind schedule. So you need to really speed things up. And then they're like, there's no autographs allowed, either an autograph or a picture. So they always say those types of things and then it just kind of ruins the mood. And then people come up and they're like, okay, you guys ready for the picture? As someone's like spilling their heart out to you. And it's like, I'd rather meet people properly than meet them in that kind of scenario. I know it's still a meeting, you still get a picture and everything, but it doesn't feel like there's any sort of, like, there's no, like, vibe going on, for lack of a better word. There's no conversation. There's no sincerity in it. It's just like, hey, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Okay, bye. And that's kind of, eh. That's not the way I want to do meet and greets. I'd rather be able to... I'd rather be able to meet less people but talk more than meet more people and just have it be like a 30 second thing. Uh... Vegan! Thank you for the five gifted subs! Thank you so much! Uh, just fangirl Lily, thank you for the hundred bits. And Pi, thank you for the thousand bits. How long are you gonna use Invisalign? You put a smile on my face every day. Thank you for being an awesome creator. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's really nice. Um, I think I'm scheduled to do like 20 weeks. I think the top is like 15 weeks and then this is 20 to 25. I can't remember. So, a long time. It's about half a year. But it's crazy the, the sort of stuff that it can do. They show you like a... They do a 3D scan of your teeth and then they're like, here's the model of your teeth and you can like move it around as a 3D model and then they're like, here's what it'll look like as you progress and it like shows the stages of how your teeth are moving and it shows you the final result and the final result on my teeth is like, oh wow, that'll be great. Can't wait. So it'll be worth it. Um... I mean, I didn't have the worst teeth in the world. I've just never been confident about my own teeth. Um, so I want to take care of them and I want to like make sure they're they're straight and they're clean and they're taken care of after that. Lost Light, thank you for the 100 bits. Just wondering, are you usually streaming around this time? Because I live in Asia, but I still want to watch your streams. I usually stream at this time, like 8 p.m. onwards in UK, because that's when I have the time. Most of my work is done during the afternoon and early evening for YouTube, and then YouTube is my priority. That's my job, that's what I do every day, and that's what I want to focus on more. But then, whenever I have time to stream, then it's usually later in the day. I could 
change it around, maybe. Epic Fox, thank you for the tier one. Josh, thank you for the 500 bits. How's the quarantine treating you, and have you or will you play Lone Echo VR? I've never even heard of it, but I look into it. Um, and quarantine is fine. I basically live a quarantined life all the time anyway, so this isn't that much different. Is this really Animal Crossing music? It's so chill. Uh, Nerdy Kitten, thank you for the 300 bits. That's very sweet, thank you so much. Uh, Bailey and Epic, thank you for the subs. Do I have Corona? No. <laughs> Do you think I'd be streaming if I had coronavirus? Is it okay to be an introvert? Of course it is. It's okay to be anything. Well, obviously... <laughs> Not somebody be like, Jack said it's fine to be a murderer. I'm gonna go kill people. You know what I mean. Will you play Last of Us 2? Of course. Spartan, thank you for the 200 bits. You should invite Ryan Reynolds on stream and maybe talk about his new movie coming out called Free Guy. <laughs> well, I'm also in that movie. Um, yes, I'll just call up Ryan and get him on stream to talk about Free Guy. <laughs> I mean, hopefully we get to do stuff around Free Guy um, and shoot the shit a little bit. We'll see. Hannah, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm super run down at the moment, but the stream has really put a smile on my face, so thanks. It's really great to see you again at VidCon. You too! I'm sorry that things are a little shitty lately. Hopefully they get better. Emma, thank you for the tier one, as well as Potsy. Wolf, thank you for the hundred bits. How's the ego verse coming along? It's coming. Um, slowly but surely. I'm, not, I'm taking my time with it. Jenpen, thank you for the 500 bits. I'm really struggling to talk to people and socialize online. Oh. Well, keep at it. Hang in there. Sometimes it's hard, but if you can bridge that gap and get someone's attention and they start talking to you, then that is probably going to be a very good friend. Have you ever had a crazy stalker fan? Yes. Not in, like, real life. Definitely come to my house or anything, but definitely online. To the point that they show up in stream every now and then, and I have to just immediately ban them because it's just... it's too much. Uh, Mouse Helsing, thank you for the 100 bits. And Reverse Badger, thank you for the 500 bits. Appreciate it, guys. How many games do you play a day? Not that many. I know it's my job and everything, but... I don't have that much time. So most of what you see... What, most of what I play in a day is the stuff that you guys see... for videos. I mean, the Doom videos lately are taking like two hours at a time. And I was, I was recording, editing, and uploading them all in the same day, and YouTube's, like, processing system and everything is just so slow for videos over an hour. An hour or more. It takes so long, it's like an hour to just process it. So trying to get all that shit done and get them up and make sure it's ready to go has just been occupying a lot of my time. Can we get some more Subnautica? I will when more stuff comes out. They've throttled it for COVID traffic? Yeah! They we're saying... Today, I think, YouTube were saying that they're gonna make all videos in Europe... SD. They're all gonna make them standard definition, so we won't be able to watch anything in HD in Europe. Because so many people are at home because of coronavirus, 
that it's kind of taking a toll on the internet. My Doom was standard definition for you? What? It's HD for me. That's fucking horseshit. Do it everywhere, or don't do it at all. It's so... It's such horseshit that everyone in Europe's videos will be SD. Because let's say I upload something that somebody else uploads. This exact same, like, type of video, or the exact same game, or something like that. They're not gonna sit around and watch an SD version of it. I mean, some will watch it just because it's me playing it, and they'd rather watch my commentary or whatever. But some people then will just go somewhere else to watch... Like, a, an H a HD version of it. So it's a little unfair. I mean, not just for me, but for anybody who's uploading videos in Europe. It's ridiculous. I mean, I get it. But at the same time, like, make it fair everywhere. So many smaller channels are probably going to get crippled from something like that. Because people will look at it and go, oh, SD, dislike. And then YouTube's not going to recommend it to somebody. Just letting you know the YouTube notification system isn't working for the past few days. I haven't been notified about the videos. I mean, yeah. It's- the way it works is that if you're not watching some of the more recent stuff, if you haven't watched in a little bit, either you don't have the time or some of the stuff I'm uploading is just not to your fancy, then YouTube will be like, oh, well, you're not interested in that channel anymore, so I'm gonna show it to you less. And that's why so many people are like, hey, ring the bell, because if you ring the bell, it'll show it to you more. But even then, it doesn't show it to everybody. Uh, the Matman, thank you for the Prime. And Jarbart, thank you for the Prime as well. When are we gonna get another Funniest Home videos? Soon. I should do another one soon. Are you happy about how your YouTube sold? Yeah! The, they were, like, messaging me in coordinating ways of promoting it and having fun with it and doing giveaways and all that kind of stuff to just kind of raise awareness that we're doing it. Because I don't like over-promoting something, but if it's a fun idea, then it's it's a lot easier. It doesn't feel like you're selling something all the time. Um, and we didn't even do that much with it compared to what they were suggesting, and it sold out in 36 hours. And there was, like, 9,000 of them. So that's crazy. So thank you, anyone who is interested in them. I think they're very, very cute. Oh, mine fell over. <laughs> Sorry! Ah, oh, Camilla, you were too late? No. That's the- that's the downside of it, is that it's great when stuff sells out quickly because it's it's just a good feeling and it's cool to know that people are that interested in something. But then when people are like, oh, I didn't get one because I was waiting to get paid or something, it, it always breaks my heart. I'm sorry. How did Animal Crossing go? It was great, Ken. We uh, tried to kill Shari. We got bitten by a spider a couple of times and died. Uh, I got bitten by- or I got stung by bees. Um, and now I wear an eye patch, and I'm in massive debt in hell. Are you gonna announce the winner for Twitter? I already did. There was three people that won on Twitter. I just replied to the tweet, because I figured the people who won would see it. Uh, Duncan, Abigail, Fairy Tale Magic, and Tea Potato were the winners. Toss boy living the good life. You know it. Selling weed. Ride fast, eat ass. Uh, C Zane, thank you for the prime. And Lily, thank you for the hundred bits again. Septic Ang, thank you for the five gifted subs. You guys are too sweet, thank you. I was gonna play this game, I was gonna stream on YouTube actually today. I'm like, you know what, more people will see it on YouTube and people who are interested in it will watch it on YouTube. But I don't know, I just like streaming on Twitch more. It's nicer, I have it figured out, and the atmosphere here is a lot nicer. I don't know what it is. Also, even with a lot of people watching, 
Like, there's a, a few thousand people watching, but you can still read the chat. Um, and the modding tools and everything are just a lot easier here than YouTube. Tube's just a shit show. And the vibe here is different. People kind of expect a stream to be different. Whereas if I stream on YouTube, then people are like, what's wrong with them? <laughs> Twitch don't skim donations either. I, I guess so. I didn't think about that. Um, but also it just lets us kind of dick around a little bit and then we can just always edit it down and upload it to YouTube anyway. I feel like YouTube's better for edited content than live streaming. This music's fucking dope. Really enjoying it. Who's editing the video? Probably Robin. When are you going to do another charity stream? I've been trying to get some stuff together for a... Like a coronavirus type of thing. Trying to figure out what's the best organization right now. Because there's there's no like... There's no like coronavirus charity. Um... So we're trying to figure out where the money can be funneled towards, and we're t I've been talking to Michael from Tiltify a lot, the CEO of Tiltify, about what we can do, and try and get something together for that. I'm also going to be releasing new merch soon, um, in like the next couple of days, I think, and I think a lot of the, I think the profits for that are going to go towards stuff as well. Um... So it's it's just a matter of where where is our attention best fed into right now? Is it is it food drives? Is it I don't know supplies? Is it masks? Is it hand sanitizer? What is it? I've even talked to them about like is it possible for us to even start like making hand sanitizer? <laughs> like can we can we do something to help? Can we make masks and hand sanitizer and survival kits? For people to be able to buy, and I, like, part of my specification for that was to keep shipping as absolutely low as possible, if not free. And then, any of the profits that would normally be made for it, just pump that back into a, an organization somehow. But, I just don't know how feasible all of that stuff is, so I, I have been trying to do something to help, because it's just... It's a crazy time out there. And we have a lot of potential to be able to help, it's just making sure... I'd rather make sure that I do it right than just jump on a bandwagon and be like, Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna make something because I wanna help. And then you figure out later that the stuff you raised didn't help at all. Um... So whenever I have something figured out, we'll we'll do something for it. Oh, the Robin raid? And I missed it? I think. Um, I think those those are his emotes. What's up, Robin? Thanks for the raid, I appreciate it. Are you still enjoying Assassin's Creed? If you're even still here. <laughs> appreciate the raid nonetheless. Boom, boom. Ba -boom, boom. Just a minute ago. It's pretty fun, yeah. Atlantis DLC. Ooh, I didn't know they had Atlantis DLC. I haven't played much of Odyssey. I played a lot of Origins. I played that entire thing, and I think I played the first DLC. I really like that, but I haven't played the new one. I don't do. Oh. I don't do. NVIDIA is trying to get gamers to combine processing powers to find a vaccine. Yep. There's also folding at home. 
It might be the same thing. But folding at home is a thing that folds proteins. Uh, for scientific purposes, it's always folding simulations of proteins to see how best to find vaccines. Um, and the PS3 used to let you do it, so that you can use your PC or your PS3 back then as a mob or a, a like a remote node. So your GPU can constantly be folding proteins uh, remotely, so that scientists can use your PC remotely to get the processing power. So technically, everybody in the world could do this with a PC, and all the power would be combined, like cloud-based, sort of, in a remote fashion, that they would be all folding proteins at the same time, and it could do simulations to find a vaccine. It's pretty cool. But you need your PC free, obviously, to be able to do it. Um, to free up processing power so that you're actually able to help. Yeah, like Robin said, you can install folding at home and any PC can do it and you just send set it to only work when idle. So like if you go to sleep you can leave your computer on all night and just have it folding at home, trying to help out. Mad Kev, thank you for the two months. So hopefully, in in a few months, we'll we'll be closer to a vaccine because of stuff like that. Lot, thank you for the prime. <laughs> Gamers unite. Humanity unite. Do as much as we can to help each other. Um, but yeah, I think I might leave the stream here. A good three hours. I kind of have a headache and my teeth hurt. <laughs> I want to chill out and make some tea. The thing about Invisalign though is that it's changing my my habits in a better way. I don't like bite my nails or the skin on my fingers anymore because I can't. I just have plastic, there's no biting surface. And I always have to take these out. You have to wear them like 20 to 22 hours a day. And then to really let them work properly. And I can take them out to eat. Well, I have to take them out to eat and drink stuff. So it's like, I'm not snacking. I'm not eating shit at wrong times or just eating because I can because I have to take these out every time and then wash them and clean them. So, <laughs> it's just funny how it's it's helping. <laughs> Headache is a sign of corona. It's also a sign that I slept badly, which I did. Because I slept on my back with my head like this. Because my neck is killing me as well. Oh, Casey, I'm sorry I didn't see your bits. I'm sorry that I missed a bunch of them. I o there's always so many of them, and you guys are so generous that I can't get to all of them all the time, so... But I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to everyone who's hanging out. I hope you had fun watching Animal Crossing. We will do it again, hopefully, tomorrow night. I'm not sure how, what we're doing. Um, but definitely more over the weekend. I, I definitely want to play more of it, because it was super fun, and we can progress. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the bits, the subs, the resubs, primes, all of that stuff. And thank you to the mods for helping out and kicking ass, as always. That was a ton of fun. Um... Who should we raid? Um... Girlfriend reviews are playing Doom Eternal right now, so why not? Somebody, somebody different. Let's raid them, give them love, they're super nice people, very, very kind, and good friends of ours, so... Tell them I said hello, and I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye, guys!